time for more enchanted moments with The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine expansion. Yeah, that is not Cybermania 94, the only true video game award show. Allow me to light this decorative candle, this Red Dead Redemption 2 candle on my desk. Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta mix up my lightscape too. This is a Battletoads lightscape. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, that's not what we're doing right now. No, 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 no. Uh, I'm trying to think of what would match. The rolling pastels of Twisaw. We'll go with this. Haha. -ha. Wait. Haha. -ha -ha. Yes. <laughs> Clearly, I'm in an entirely different room now. And let's do this. Oh yeah, you're referring to Victor Lucas, Canadian uh, game journalist extraordinaire. He still does Electric Playground. Um. Yeah. All right. The candle has been lit. The candle. Yeah, Angry. I'm still still using that cursed candle. Uh, burning burning it down slowly. This is gonna be the largest candle I've ever I've ever gone through. It's very exciting. To me and me alone. Let me reposition that a little bit. Let's see if I can get Tub Geralt in the scene here. He belongs here. Where are you? Oh, he's migrated all the way to the other side of my desk. Now. There we go. Kind of hard to make out, but he's back there. Okay. What's the goal of this playthrough? To finish the game. Um... I have never played through all of Blood, or rather all of Witcher 3, so I'm just trying to finish it out before Cyberpunk comes out. Uh, don't worry, Black Mage, you'll be, you'll be getting your dad bod soon enough. There's our guy. This is our Geralt for today. He's got a sick ponytail, and he's glistening. He's wet, and he's big, but he's got a lot of power. Uh, goal of this playthrough, uh, I modded it just because it's, it's a PC and you can do that, but... Uh, Apart from that, it's basically just to experience all the content. I'm doing it with a... I have like a, a difficulty rebalance mod and a few other mods that make the game harder. I'm also playing under my house rules of not wearing chest armor, because why would you? You got a body like that. A glistening body like that. And uh, I don't use Quen, the barrier ability, uh, because it's a little overpowered. Or it's very overpowered. Quest-wise, I was in the middle of a, a tale of intrigue. Yeah, two, uh, two vineyard owners were reporting all of these issues. Come to find out a third party was interfering. Was, uh, was sabotaging them both. So, um, uh, this is, a, I guess, an optional ending to discover that subplot. I'm now going to report it to both of them. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry, Pop Tart. I haven't, I haven't checked the the mailbox yet. I'll do that on Monday. Um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't mailed, I haven't mailed the trading card either. I'm very slow about those sorts of things. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, but the good news is I have things to mail tomorrow, so I will definitely go to the post office. You have the improved combat system mod. Uh, there are several that change the combat system, so I'm not sure which one you're referring to. Uh, I have a list of most of the mods I've installed. The, the gameplay one is FCR3 uh, that does a, a, a fair bit of rebalancing and kind of uh, what is the what is the word? It's like it's like lore sympathetic gameplay updates or like world, world kind of gameplay updates. Oh, I'm getting another candle. Sick. I need to come up with more games to play candles during. I'm gonna have too many candles. That mod list may be a little out of date, but it should have most of the big stuff in it. What's up, Hatter Madigan? Oh, I gotta, I think I gotta crank the juice a little bit. Yeah, this game's a little quieter. Let's go. Oh, there was a fast travel point there. Well, okay. Cyberpunk? Cyberpunk doesn't feel like a candle game. I mean, it, it's certainly one that I could burn candles during. Maybe I should. Maybe that'll be my reminder that I'm not fully in cyberspace. No, it's okay, Pop-Tart. Yeah, no, your, your concern is warranted. I just need to be more active about that sort of thing. Master Witcher, 
Have you any news? They're looking so expectantly at this man. This vineyard, Belgard. Wait, do they have electric it's candles? So <laughs> you are not from here. It certainly shows. Before Count Crespi fell prey to the beast, Belgard belonged to him. As a man of wealth and influence, he guided it to immense success. Brought in rare grape varieties. I mean, I've seen those ones where it's like workers. a filament that has little light currents going through details. it. Suffice to say that merging Belgard with another vineyard is a sure recipe for success. Yes, this is still the Red Dead Candle. It's it's crazy because, yeah, I think... Guys, I think this is a super high quality candle. Most candles have like a cloth wick, but it only goes down a couple of inches and then it's just a big hunk of wax that you can't really burn. This one had a cloth wick that led to, I think, a, a wood wick. So I think there's like actually a... Yeah. <laughs> Those are light bulbs, you're right. No, there's like... <sighs> I'm sure you've seen them. There's like the electric uh, bulbs that look like they have the like teardrop shape of a, a candle flame and inside is a flat sort of spade shaped filament that will like flicker with orange light kind of like a candle looks. So that's like an electric candle, but it's not new tech at all. I remember seeing those years ago. So yeah, my description of a filament that lights up, that is pretty much every old light bulb. So there's also the, I think the tungsten bulbs, the ones that have, that you see in like every brew pub or like artisanal restaurant. They have the like giant, giant coils inside that look really cool and old timey. Yeah, those, those are really expensive, I think. Oh, that's something else. One of the man caused Coronado's and Vermentino's problems. Got proof. A certain Count Crespi. He's at the root of it all. What, Crespi? Yes. Belgard's erstwhile also, father? Why, that's impossible. I need to brag Put about this. Here, in writing. It feels like there's something in the way. I'm not to move whatever that is. indeed have motive. He knew well his own vineyard could not survive. Edison bulbs, that's it. Coronata Coin, thank you very much. Forces. Probably why he incited the feud. Pulled it off, too, mostly. Just failed to bring his plan to completion when the beast got him. Incredible. You mean to say it... It wasn't Liam. But I was <laughs> certain my troubles were Matilda's doing. <clears throat> In light of new evidence, uh, the most just resolution would be for both injured parties to share oversight of Belgard. Dragon's Crown could use a candle. Good point. Do you mean to suggest we're to cooperate? It's the optimal solution, yes. In terms of the health of the Enterprise as well. Hmm. Ooh, Dragon's Dogma. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I do believe he's right. Perhaps Final it's Fantasy XIV. Bury the hatchet. Three vineyards are more than one. There's much to be gained. So be it. I'm glad we've come to an agreement. One question remains. What's to become of Coronata and Vermentino? Got caught up in the investigation. Still got problems there, but I'll clear them up. Excellent. Then we shall await news in the matter. Preferably good news. Oh, okay. I was wondering if this was going to get me out of going around and beating up all those plants? The answer is no. I still have to do that. Maybe not. I thought... Wait. Oh. Jesus. So it wrapped up all three? Wait a minute. Okay. And now it gives me a new one probably to finish up the rest of it. Never mind. Uh, yeah. Final Fantasy 16 for sure. Maybe seven remake of that? Okay, so sorry. Somebody uh, during that conversation asked about this uh, fireplace in the background, which very much is a real fireplace. Oh, I'm going to move that chair. I've been slowly getting things out of the way. Unfortunately, the, uh, the table is very heavy. Look at how cozy that is. Yeah, real fireplace in LA. It's weird. It doesn't make any sense, right? We got very lucky. Yeah, 
Got slippers and an RGB tree and a cackling, f a crackling fireplace. Oh yeah, these slippies are, uh, they were an old Christmas gift. So I kind of, for some reason, feel like I want to wear them around the holidays. Yeah, Pop-Tart, the, the table's very heavy. Uh, and it, it's not easy to move around and it makes a lot of noise. Need a tree apron for my, for my utterly plastic RGB tree? Maybe you're right, hold on. Uh, I don't think it looks bad. I mean, I don't think you're tricking anyone into thinking it's a, it's a real one. I'm a, I'm a fake streamer. What? Oh, why? Well, I'm not hugging the seal. Wait, do you have a fireplace in LA so I can I can burn stuff in it? Makes sense to me. There's Roach. Always willing to help out. What's that black box overlay above candle cam? Faster. Probably closed captions. You can turn that off if you want to. Best for the beast. Slow now. Let's go. Just looked like Final Fantasy candles on Etsy, and there's one called Tifa's Boob Sweat. I mean, does it actually smell like sweat? What's the? There's got to be a description of the scent, because I kind of want it. Wine bottles. Kind of want that. Leftovers. Can outsiders sign up, or is this a closed event? Piss off, rat mob. Hop, skip, trot. Mind your manners. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Roach, calm down. Ooh. Ow. This is reminding me of that video of the drunk dude getting a chair bashed over his back. This dude is jacked. Roach is really throwing me off my game right now. God damn it. That's really fast. What the fuck? It like put me out of combat. What happened just then? Wait, I got a new... Defeat the drunk worker in a fist fight. <laughs> they beat my ass and then, uh, just peace, <laughs> just peaced out, huh? I wonder what's gonna happen to that quest now. Oh, you're gonna you're heading out, Great. King Egg? Okay, updated, good. I was so, I wouldn't want it to just fail out and that's it. That would be sad. Oh wait, maybe it did. I didn't fix the shrines. Oh, there it is. Never mind. Okay, well, it's another day in the life of Geralt. Get your ass kicked by some drunk dude next to a next to a lake. Isn't chair too close to, too close to the fire now? I don't think so. I think it's fine. Let's go. It's not a real fire either. It would have to be like in there. And it's not like anything's gonna pop out. It's a it's a fake log. The God brings peace to our domains. Wait, what, did, what quest did it put me on? Oh, okay, it put me on the main story. Now let's. I'll just polish this one off. Go beat up some beat up some more goddamn plants. Oh yeah, single serving friend. The uh, the rumor that Kojima's finally is actually straight up making Silent Hills now, and that uh, Blue Point is making a Metal Gear Solid remake. That's really cool, and that's something Sony. It feels like Sony, Sony would do. It doesn't feel like something Konami would do. Just wonderful. The fire is very real, but ow. It is not burning real real wood that can like fall out of the fireplace or anything like that, so nothing to be concerned about. Damn it! Ugh. Every time I play I gotta remember just how squishy I am. I mean, for more reasons than the obvious ones. 
Blue Point did the OG Metal Gear Solid HD collection, so that that all tracks. Yeah, and they're they're glowing up pretty hard as as a port house or a, a remake house. So. Come on. Oh. What's up, Andrew? How's life? Oh, I gotta slower. Change my sweet quest again. Oh, you have a wood stove. Dang. Okay, yeah. Nope, this is very much a... I mean, this is a... Uh, an ornamental fireplace for sure. Not meant to produce heat. Come on. Don't need it. Everything's perfect all the time. I want to play that... I want to play Metal Gear Solid Pachinko. I actually just want to play Pachinko. I've never done it. All right, let me get my ass kicked by these wolves again. Actually, I'm gonna meditate real quick. Just wonderful. Could be the reason they took PT off the PS4. I don't understand that at all. Still, uh, that doesn't make any sense to me. Like, like them making it now doesn't really. I don't understand. I don't see why that makes them doing it before make any sense. Like it doesn't. It's it's a little a little much to like not that anyone is applying this, but like to think that it maybe it was part of some master plan is I think a little a little intense to like drive up interest in the game. He went to Japan and didn't try it. Yeah, I didn't know I didn't really see where or how, I guess. I went to arcades, but I guess they weren't pachinko parlors, and I was I'll be honest, like I guess trying to do pachinko intimidates me a bit. I would probably need to google how to play i've never actually done it damn it was strong you just like randomly fire in balls right and then they fly into little buckets and then you get points and then you can and then the points are awesome and you want more points I oh that's right there's usually like a lever or like some dang it I keep hitting that bumper it's usually like something you hit to release the balls right out of a hopper that like moves back and forth so it's ostensibly timing based and prediction based damn. Ripped to shreds. You just drop balls and just shoot the balls. That sounds fun. It sounds like a. I mean that. Prince. Basically, sounds like a slot machine, but just trying to get away with way more going on. Like I'd play a Metal Gear Solid slot machine. Hell yeah, I would. I'd play that more than anything else. If I can like be sipping on sipping on a shitty mixed drink and then. Like seeing little clips of snakes sneaking around and listening to Metal Gear music? That sounds sick to me. <laughs> that sounds cool as hell. I don't know. I get, I get the resentment, I guess, because Konami doesn't track much in AAA console anymore, but they're actually doing pretty well, uh, is my understanding, from some of the earning reports I saw of them in the past couple years. You can't aim. Uh, you can't have skill. It just shoots balls and hope for the best. Oh, okay. All right. I don't mind that. I mean, it, yeah, it's a slot machine. What's going on? I guess I'll just follow the prince. Yeah, I gotta follow. I gotta track him through the river. Sometimes I get too hung up on thinking that I have to find something in that that glowing circle, but it doesn't always work that way. Okay. Yeah. He's got a sad face. That sucks. Oh. Is it? What the fuck? That's kind of cool. Oh, okay, he's supposed to be teleporting, but it's like glitching out. All right. Shit. We're getting tested. Let's see if I can freeze it. Jesus Christ. That looks so much more terrifying. I mean, he zooms around like that. Believe I haven't smoked weed yet. Oh, 
That was a spriggan, huh? Come out. I'm not gonna hurt you. Is there another godling? I feel like only godlings come out of holes. Thank you, Sir Witcher. Let Beota keep you in his care. It's people. Never mind. <laughs> we smoking tonight? Well, Geralt sure is. Hold on. Okay, cool. It does make it feel a lot more spontaneous if there's just a teensy bit of a quest line like that instead of, uh, like, just an icon on the map. But then again, Witcher has those two monster nests, you know. Hey, Pole, How's it going? Alright, Witcher's... Geralt's, uh... Gonkin' the doob, for sure. This would be a pretty good place to gonk a doob. Rule of Books Spriggan was a good anime. I was thinking about that the other day. I remember thinking it had some pretty pretty sick action sequences. You can smoke. I modded I modded it in. But yeah. When the, the sound gets a little mellowed out. This this girl spleefs the keef. I keep thinking about like there was actually a post on Eurogamer about it, about the uh the Twitter thread from somebody who noted that Geralt was actually a disabled protagonist, had like chronic pain. Uh, and, and a limp due to son, due to just generally getting fucked up for his entire career. I think there was a specific instance that he, like, he got massively injured and then, and then healed with, like, some magical water or some magic stuff, but not cured. So it, like, still stuck with him. Uh, is there a weed buff? Yeah. It, it, it just said, actually, uh, you get a XP bonus when you're, when you're rocking the Come doob. On, spoobing the doob. Crank and the crank. Show me what you got. What the hell is that? What is that? Get off the horse! Why are they yellow? This is this is like in Final Fantasy when enemies turn different colors and they're suddenly way harder. It's like sprite swaps. Oh, damn! They take a lot of damage. Fuck! I didn't. Uh, I didn't punish my bombs. Ow! Shit, they explode. I don't even have why don't I have a crossbow equipped? Boosh. I am I am a little impressed with myself for not dying there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give myself a little gamer pat on the back for that one. You're fascinated by by Roach, my sweet horse. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Roach has to wear a diaper, uh, but it's better this way. We have a lot of adventures, Roach and I. God, this game's pretty. I'm good to be outside with your best horse. <laughs> I never use crossbow in this game? I never do either. It is, a, it is a pretty wholly useless mechanic. It's good for shooting stuff out of the sky, it's good for being underwater, but that's kind of it. It's a little... a little blunt, I guess. Key to chest and sunflower fields, you say. Thick journal written in a steady hand. The last pages, however, contain different handwriting full of blots and crossed out words. A mysterious gentleman has come to me asking whether I would agree to sell him the stock of barrels we are preparing for the new wine variety. I refuse him curtly, for I know how much the new wine means to Miss Matilda, and how much depends on this wine's success. After all, things have been very tight at the vineyard these last days. This extremely mysterious gentleman has turned out to be an equal or turned out to be equally extremely wealthy. He came to me again with a very hefty pouch. Bum blast it. It'll be very hard to refuse him if he puts me to that trial again. Today I forgot to lock the gates to the barrel storehouse. I'm very ashamed, but what could I do? Miss Matilda's crushed. 
I won't touch that coin until all is settled down. I've hidden a sack of stu or I've hidden a sack stuffed with Nilfgaardian florins in the sunflower fields. I would not want someone to find such a fortune in my home. He has paid me for he has paid me another visit. This time he wanted me to procure him the recipe for the new wine. I do have some honor. Barrels are one thing. I can make new ones, perhaps even better ones. But the recipe for the wine, I said I'd sooner die, and then he gave me the strange look, sent shivers down my spine. I think I best barricade my doors this night. Ooh. Ooh. Got what was coming to you, buddy. Sunflower fields. Sunflower fields forever. The Bud Light has its own console? What? I want to play Super Mario Bud Light. I want to play Bud Light Halo. <laughs> there, sh there should be a Bud Light console where just it's just total ripoffs of existing games. Except they just very ham-fistedly shove Bud Light into every video game. Like, <laughs> it's Mario except everything's Bud Light. The enemies, the power-ups, all of it. It's just all Bud Light. KFC was working on a console? Delicious. The great thing about a... Uh, a console made by KFC or Bud Light is that you know the controller would have a button that would just kind of panic deploy that food item directly to you as, as fast as possible. Imagine imagine gaming and then slapping a button and having some tenders f fly to your home within 20 minutes. <laughs> the, uh, the verification can has never been more real. Consume verification tender now. Uh, okay, sure, yeah, let's get this started. Okay, there are, there are sunflowers. Oop. There are sunflowers here, but... I don't know that I'd call that a field. <gasps> Burger King did that right with the 360? What, really? The only... The only true integration I can think of is an EverQuest. You could type slash pizza and it would, like, launch the process to order a pizza to your place. <laughs> Please consume verification nugget. Hell yeah. There was a Taco Bell Xbox, but there wasn't, like, you couldn't buy Taco Bell through it. Which is kind of bullshit. When you think about it, and that's all I've done. That's all I've ever done. I just keep thinking about that Taco Bell Xbox. And how goddamn mad I am. <laughs> The coolest thing was it just did the bong, the stupid Taco Bell bong when you turned it on instead of the usual Xbox chime. Oh, that's right, Burger King made games for 360. Yeah, you could play as the, the Burger King. Sneaking around and freaking people out with surprise hamburgers. Where the shit, man? I guess I just haven't... I think I gotta use my Witcher eyes harder. Gotta read the note again? Maybe. Yeah, Sneak King. Apparently there were some easy achievement points in that game. I never played it. I always wanted to. I think I bought a copy of it off of like eBay, because I knew it was easy points, but I never I never actually got around to playing it. Oh yeah, Doritos Crash Course was pretty good too. Again, that that was free, right? I'm gonna play that quite a bit. Getting some, getting some easy cheeves out of that one. Pop, popping some hot cheeves. Uh, would it be considered an other? Look at all this lore I've accrued. Good God. Okay. Yeah. Sunflower fields. Huh. Okay. Maybe there's a sunflower field around here I'm not seeing. I climb on top of this house. Get a bird's eye. Aw. Bird's eye view. Candle's going off? Wow, it is. You're right. Get that cool reflection, that ray trace reflection out of that liquid wax. 
this doesn't really seem like a field of sunflowers. It strikes me as more of a loose gathering of sunflowers. Like, they weren't planted here. So what are you talking about? Excited. Excited for Gimme God of War runs on the PS5? Yeah, I'm going to be starting that up pretty soon here. Uh, that'll, that is, I guess, the next uh, difficult thing I'm, I'm hoping to, to bash through. I just have to plug in my old PS4 again and upload my saves, because they didn't... The, the ones in the cloud weren't the most recent saves. You ever have one of those days where you run, run, run away from your emotions? Yeah. Yeah. Fortunately, we're kind of stuck with them. I think the most you can do in those circumstances is just figure out how to, like, get weather the storm kind of thing. Self-care as best you can. Maybe all of these fields are sunflower fields and I'm being a little too literal about thinking there has to be sunflowers directly there. Yeah, the difficulty. Yeah, yeah. Lord Newport is correct. The hardest difficulty on God of War 2018. Which, that game gets real tough. But boy, is it perfect. It's just so good. It's so, so good. I do miss playing it. And now, uh, can't, can't think of a better circumstance than being able to play it in 60 FPS. That's just like, uh, what a, what a great little bonus to get. In addition to all the good PS5 shit going on. Where the heck? I guess I don't need this money. No, wait, I take that back. I do. I gotta renovate my stupid, my stupid vineyard. Where's this money? Give me this blood money. This wine money. Yeah, combat never gets boring. It's so good. I mean, it, it does feel to me a bit... It's not as fast or intense as something like Doom Eternal, but it is the sort of thing where combat is always stimulating. Like, a, there's never a point where you just get good enough at God of War that you're... You can sort of mash buttons through it. Maybe it's a treasure hunt quest? It might be. I don't remember it. I don't remember it he yawing at me, but yeah, let me check. That might that might help out a little bit. Oh, yeah, you're right. Thank you very much. Oh look at that. It's all the way over there. Thank you, Lucas. That's okay. We had we had a nice talk. A nice little romp around. You can play DMC5 Special Edition. I really want to, but I'm trying to be like, when I think realistically about whether or not I'll pick it up soon, it's kind of hard for me to say. Uh, cause, cause really Cyberpunk's about to come out. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna lie to lie and say I'm gonna mainline this game until then. Uh, maybe in the next couple months, maybe? But I, I really do like that game. I like Devil May Cry 5 a lot. And I only played through it the first time, so I, like, really didn't play through it, you know? I didn't play through it on a harder difficulty. And that game was pretty easy, the first run through. So I got I got the sense that I could get a lot better at it. And it would be... And they, I could find a lot more gameplay in there. The days pass. The pile of work. Feels good. Sort of give me God of War as a grind. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily call it a grind. It's just there are some bad, bad fights at the start. Yeah. Like, there's some very important skills that make those first, like, make those first encounters so rough. Uh, yeah, I remember getting really stuck there for a long time. I remember I was a little, I was a little, uh, greener at streaming then, too. And I remember I was, I would get a little curt with chat. I would get a little upset. They'd be offering tips, and I'd be like, shut up. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I think I've gotten a little better at handling uh, stressful video game situations since then. Well, maybe I'll do this Witcher contract. Eh, well, let's, uh, here. Let's, wait, no, 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 no. There's another Gwent. Yeah, here it is. Yes. I'm gonna... I'm gonna knock out one of these Gwent matches just to bust up the rhythm a little bit. And then I'll jump over to that Witcher contract. Guess it's a 
I'm the dude who thought DMC Devil May Cry was excellent. Because it was really good. I really, really liked it too. That said, I do have an understanding of why people are upset by it. But, man, that game's great. I... I this Ninja Theory is under Microsoft now, so they can kind of do whatever they want, but man. I really did like that that take on the franchise. Man, the music was great. What are you doing, Roach? Don't eat that. Actually, yeah, you can eat that. Roach, you can eat whatever you want. I love you. What have we here? The Tournament Champion. What's going on here? Why do you stick on it? you stick on Like a pitchfork. Like a pitchfork in a dung pile. I'm just moving through, fellas. No need to be need to be rude. Okay. Uh, I was hoping that you could just blaze right through all those all those plants, but you kinda can't. How deep is it compared to, say, a fighting game? I mean, it'll never... DMC, you mean? A single-player game is always fundamentally going to present a different kind of challenge than, than like, a multiplayer fighting game. But in terms of mechanics and, like, button intensity, it can certainly get there. Uh, about the, like, the... The button intensity, timing windows of executing combos in Devil May Cry. I think it's more the the framework of of why you do what you do and how you do it. Well, not not necessarily how you do it, but why you do what you do is quite a bit different when you're not playing against people. I would hate to come off as Stop calling it Roach. Why? And Geralt names all of his horses Roach, and that's that's Roach. The game calls him Roach. Her Roach. Greetings. Oh. Oh. I need to whip, whip your ass and Gwent, but this guy's got to move. Okay. There we go. Soft avocados. Thank you very much for the resub. Oh, wing. <laughs> Thank you for clearing that message. Let's see. Let's see what you got in stock. Show me what you got. Oh yeah, right. I don't wear chest armor. Too restricting. Not only does have stuff that's better, but you only have to worry about that when you get hit. And I just won't do that. Am I not high enough level? Oh yeah, level 43. Huh. Well, whatever. I'll just whoop your ass and Gwent. That'll be that. Actually, wait. Can you make the good stuff? I'm gonna guess no, but yeah. Let's get in the zone. No, you're busy, but you up for a round of Gwent? What are your needs, master? He knows what's gonna happen here. Okay. Lord, may you deliver unto me more spies, or not. I'll take the one, I guess. I just realized, uh... Doesn't CDPR have two games that are not The Witcher? Because they have Thronebreaker and Gwent, right? Oh, no worries, uh, United Soul. What's up, Chunkster Geralt? You're just roaming around the countryside getting it done. Man. I don't even really have good cards to revive either. This is going to be a weird match. I'm kind of missing most of my tools. I'm trying to bait out a good Scorch in the first round. That seems like it would be a good move. When I can decoy, I haven't been given much of a reason to. Thank you. Thornbreaker's really fun, but too easy? Oh, okay. They're... It's gonna be a dumb question, but... They're two... They're, they're like different kinds of games, right? Thornbreaker is not a Gwent game, is it? Ooh! Can you interest...
just mean a game of Orlog. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get updogged. Why, yes you can, sir. I would love to play a game of Orlog with you. Alright, now, now we're playing Gwent. It's a single player adventure Gwent thing. Huh. Cool. I passed up before you ripped and tore until it was done, so congratulations. Thank you very much, Nitro. Appreciate... Oh, I shouldn't be doing this. Um, right, I need to save my spice for further rounds because of the burn turns. I'm learning. I can take the round, too. Went but a story. I like the idea of that. But I mean, that legitimately sounds like a cool game. And I'm kind of on a kick of just wanting to play everything CDPR has made right now. Pot of Greed. Allows me to draw two cards. I play Pot of Greed. That's kind of what I'm doing. I play Dijkstra. This allows me to draw two cards. I play Dijkstra. This al <laughs> that is actually Gwent. That literally describes Gwent. Oh, Orlog is a real game. <laughs> Has Norse, do Norse gods you can summon to do shit? That sounds like what I'd want to summon Norse gods to do. Oh no! Oh wait, are you ready for these? Okay, guys, you ready? You ready for some big brain plays? I mean, you're not, but let's do it anyway. Or I could just do it next round. Oh uh, crap! Yeah. I think I'm gonna do that. That's even bigger brain. I was gonna scorch that spy off the board and then resurrect it. But if I pass the round, I, then I lose the round, it goes to discard, and then I can resurrect it right away in the next round without uh, without having to use the Scorch. I think I'm going to do that. That's the even bigger brain to play. Play every localization CDPR made for every game? I mean, you could probably spend the rest of your life just doing that if you played every localization of, like, Witcher 1, 2, and 3. Jesus Christ. All right, here comes the big brain play. Oh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. No, they're probably gonna resurrect a spy. Yarp. Okay. Okay, then. Well, maybe I'll get a decoy when I do the ex exactly the same thing. It looks like I am facing a brain equally in, pa in power to mine. Equal in power to mine. Damn it, I did not get a... I could scorch... Yeah, I can use this to scorch out that spy. But then if they have another res, they'll send it my way. Huh. I should probably hang on to that. I might get a better Scorch. I mean, a better than nine is good. I guess I might as well just play my hero units. Let them burn cards. How big can a brain go? Let's find out. My opponent is moderately large brained. You ever play Legends of Runeterra? No. What's that all about? Didn't CDPR start with localized games? Why, yes, they did. Uh, I actually, I know this because I just was reading up on, reading their lore on the website. So, they, uh, yeah, they used to, like, import games and sell them. Uh, they would, like, be selling stacks of CDs at, like, flea markets and stuff in Poland. Or, uh, like, farmer's markets and stuff. And that's why they're called CD Project, because they would just get stacks of CDs and sell them in Poland. And once they got made enough money doing that, they would start to do official localizations of things. And I think they did the their first one, I think it was Baldur's Gate. They did the official like Polish localization and voice acting for Baldur's Gate and released it. And then that's kind of been a, 
a big chunk of their business ever since is just localizing games into as many cultures as possible. That's that's one of the things that doesn't really get talked about with cyberpunk is how many languages and cultures it's getting localized in. It's getting localized in South Korean, which is kind of a huge deal. It's getting localized to Chinese, which is kind of a huge deal. I think it may be even like Cantonese and Mandarin separately. I'm not sure, but but yeah, they kind of that's kind of the bread and butter of their business for a long time is localizing games into, into cultures and regions that very rarely get that localization treatment. There's, I think some people get annoyed at, oh, this is nice. Getting a good Scorch building up here. I think some people can reasonably get annoyed at the, uh, the sort of, on the outside, the, the esteem for that company can seem like it's just f weird fanaticism, like Elon Musk junk of like, oh, you just like them because they say everything you want to hear. But they do kind of have a pretty blessed Cinderella story of coming up and kind of trying to do the right thing and making the products that people want. But Stephanie works for them, so of course I'm going to be a little biased. This guy got some hot cards. I see you. Ooh. Crap. Do I have any spies in my discard? No. And I don't think you can... I mean, pulling a decoy out, it doesn't go into your hand. So. Very well. I'll allow it. I can still Scorch. I can. I have basically two Scorches. Oh, shit. Okay. I guess I should have seen that coming. I can get one of them back. I'll wait on that. Now getting one of them back is still pretty good because then I have Dandelion. Two cards left. How many of them are spies? Good. Good. Hold on, I'm gonna make sure I'm certain. No quarter. No. No mercy. Every card on the on the table. Did you ever get to Magic the Gathering? I actually did, yeah. Way back in the day, like kind of when I was in junior high and, and very beginning of high school, I was super into it and then I kind of, at some point it just sort of clicked and I realized, like I think it was on the, the third time that like, oh it's a new edition and there's all new cards and, but you can't wait to buy these and I was like, oh, I, I damn, I don't want to do this forever. I just kind of clicked at some point and I was like, eh. I think I'm out of this. I think I'm out of this. I saw I saw a long future of just always buying cards and having cards stack up everywhere, and I'm just like, eh, this doesn't seem a, this this is suddenly lost lost interest. But I enjoyed playing the game and all the intangibles about it. Like it is fun to open up packs. It's uh, the artwork on those cards is really good. I never really like like read enough of the flavor text to know or care about the lore at all. Or like any of the novels or anything like that. Oh, the conversation systems in Witcher 3 and presumably Cyberpunk. Hey there. Be much more cinematic than to say to pull a completely random and not at all cherry pick game Skyrim, for example. Yeah, I mean oh. Skyrim has a lot of copy paste dialogue with random people, and that's kinda what it has to do. Skyrim just never seemed to have that much personality. I mean, I can think about the quests that are a little wacky in Skyrim, and it just doesn't seem to land with me. It's just, it seems all very like on-off switch kind of thing. Like, this is the wacky one, so therefore things will be wacky. Get out of the way, kids. Damn, this is pretty. 
Skyrim is a mod playground. Yeah. It's a lot better to think about it like that. Which is, you know, that deserves a celebration as well. I was bitter for a long time because I really wanted it to be a, like, super epic, interesting gameplay, open world RPG. And it's just kind of not that. I guess, you know, I wanted the Morrowind experience. Which, already by Oblivion, I was like, this... This is getting further away from that. And then Skyrim was like, full-on, not that. What swords are you using? Good question. I don't quite remember. The Teshem Mutna Steel Sword and Casas Fo Foderis. Foderis. Oh, well, the Witcher contract's right here. I guess I might as well stop in and say hi. Gonna hold oh there. I'm gonna roll right past without saying howdy. Actually, wait. Are you guys bad guys? Decent. Seems I'm still hungover. There appears to be something here that I'm supposed to interact with. Hey, over here, please. Oh, okay. Heard you calling. Wanted to talk? I did. Why don't you have runes on any of your swords? I've been saving them. I guess I was saving them for. Need a like with Mastercraft a Witcher, Witcher swords. You fail to understand. But there's no reason to not put huge. lesser runes on them. The I just pigs or dogs, have it. Black and hairy, spewing webs. Mm -hmm. Not talking about spiders then. Talking about arachnomorphs. Call them what you will. You must smash the rogues, will you? Those caves would be prime barrel storage were it not for the beasts. First things first. Need to talk about my reward. Get wipe that expression off your I face. I knew we would agree terms. Does Microsoft own Devolver Digital? I don't think so. Arachnomorphs don't look much like bunnies, but they sure breed like them. Best nip the problem in the bud. I'll look into it. Ooh. My nose just kind of clamped shut for some reason. You know what? Yeah, let's track this. Let's track this guy. I wonder if that saddle's any good. Oh, what? Oh, ceramics. Ceramics of Forhorn. Makes me laugh to think about Biggie G's scars being stretch marks. Hey, life life hits you in a lot of different ways. I am almost almost overweight. Also, I'm carrying too much. Girl's gonna have to dump some of this inventory. Oh yeah, I'm holding a lot of like swords and and shit. Oh boy, spiders. Of course it's spiders. Giant clacking, clicketing spiders. They're hissing and being all gross. Video game spiders always spit webbing at you. Shit. Ow! Shit. What are you doing? You come out here. You come out here now. Ugh. Come here. Come here. Come on. What? I don't want to chase. Ow. Whew. Would big spiders actually hiss? I don't think so. It seems to be a rather cinematic thing. I love the, the range of animals that would like roar or hiss or growl. That just typically don't make noise like that. You gotta... Ow. You gotta let people know that they mean business. 
person that they're mad. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big boy. No, no, no. Uh-uh. Uh. -uh. No. Oh, gross. <sighs> yeah, maybe I can freeze it again. Please lock on. Fuck. Fuck! Kind of made it like a thump. It made a... left a crater when he landed. Guess someone's mad about me killing all of its children. Damn it. This is so ridiculous. Ugh. Spiders are at least better than giant rats. Yeah. Boar. Shit. You're... Damn it, there's more. Uh, fight like, fight like the true coward you are, Geralt. Gosh, R O U S S, yeah. Typical American goes into someone's home and gets into a fight. Yeah, is. Would Gareth be coded as an American? He's kind of a cool dude with no country. I'm annoyed that that doesn't seem to do much of anything. These horrific things are immune to, to fire. <sighs> Let's see what else we got. Yeah, maybe maybe the this or Samum will stun them or something like that. Let's find out. Talked about business bros, like people who have business degrees. If there's an archetype there, I don't think I'm familiar with it. Shit. I'm getting stuck on the remnants of furniture in here. Stop it! No! Oh, okay. Okay, it still works. Man, I feel like I didn't hit him that much. Fuck! God, you cannot go into the middle of a bunch of them for any reason. Uh. Oh. <sighs> That's one less. Oh, roll! <sighs> this is so stressful. Taking them one at a time, so it's... This very, very blunt and inelegant strategy is sort of working. You know, let's, let's keep that sword out, girl. We're not done. It. I forgot about Thunderbolt. I just have to like get lucky that only one of them comes out to fight me. Fuck. No, oh, that's probably it. Ugh. Uh, 
Oh my gosh. Looks like I have another swallow. <laughs> I don't think I have many more bombs though. Maybe there's maybe they're weak to poison. Probably not. They are spiders, but we can hope. It's so close too, dang. What are you doing, girl? Woo, okay, now we're getting somewhere. Fuck. Uh, there's still another spider. But I think the big boy's dead, at least. I stepped into my own poison gas. Try lifesteal decoction? I can take a peep. I feel like I would probably not do enough damage? For that to be like... Make it so I could just attack through out things. These tiny guys don't hurt that much. There we go. Had to cheese it a little bit, but that's just that's just witch life. That's witching. That's just how you witch. Oh shit, I'm I'm encumbered. Yep. I can probably I can drop some of this crap. There we go. You ever throw oil in your swords? There's a mod that does that. Automatic. Because it just, it didn't really, it wasn't really interesting to keep doing that after a while. Oh yeah, there might be some good ore down here. Although ore does weigh things. Which was in the game command a lot of respect. Typically no. They're seen as weirdos and freaks that bring trouble. So they're typically not welcomed. But required to deal with uh, bad things like giant spiders. Yeah, that's all the stupid swords I just dropped. Okay. How much is a text to dono? I'm not sure what you mean. Like, how much is it to get text to appear on the screen? I don't think there is a, uh, I don't think, I think it's like anything over a dollar. I recall is what I said. What was this? What is this though? What is this? Distinguished Count, as you ordered, we have found out where the creatures of interest to you live. All the places are marked on the map attached to the package. Notwithstanding, I feel obliged to warn you against approaching any of the dwelling places without an experienced hunter or hunters and at least several weapons. And the month in which you intend to travel to the duchy, panthers are caring for their young, while centipedes are particularly active gathering stores of fat tissue before winter. As head of the guild of local hunters and trackers, I recommend taking a guide from our organization. Please let us know if you are interested. I shall personally make sure that your escort is made up of the best and most experienced people. With expressions of deep respect... Olivier de la Braga, Duchy of Toussaint, Guild of Hunters and Trackers. Okay. Why was that red, though? Ah! Da up yours! He got me. We got here. Is there a. Perhaps is there a uh, is there a conspiracy afoot? Is there a hidden subtext to these quests? Those noises again. I couldn't sleep a wink. I don't want to fight Spider Man. I don't want to fight Centipede Man. I don't know why he was talking about centipedes and panthers. That doesn't doesn't quite click together. Hmm. I feel like I'm missing something here. Why was that? Why was that? Why was that there? Oh. Hold on a minute. Maybe that was. Maybe it's like a optional. I need to, uh, sorry, I need to, well, let's just talk to Count Belladol. Belladol. Uh, hold on. Let me poke through my UI settings, because, like, my quest tracker is not showing up. And there's a few reasons why that might be.
Uh, da, 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 da. Was under. Okay, here we go. Action log. Active quest. Yeah, weird. I don't know why that was turned off. That injury might need attention. There's this dumb thing that. Uh, there's this dumb thing that. Oh, Kaz, you were, okay, you, you were asking specifically so that there would be text on screen to force somebody to answering. If you have another motivation, I'd like to hear it. Funny thing is, you didn't have to cheer. You could have just asked. Also, I have no opinion because I don't know. I don't know. I, think, I feel like I've talked to Fiona like one time, but it feels like, it feels like you got an agenda there. That said, it's hard for me to disagree with the way some, with the way some people behave. Um. Okay, so now the quest should be there. There we go. I wonder if it'll fade away. That's what uh, Friendly Hut is supposed to do. Oh, whatever. Which are four? Eh? What does that mean? All you, all you wrote was Witcher 4 and question mark. <laughs> yeah, nobody owns anything. Everything's gonna fall apart eventually. All taken care of. Went inside and cleaned up. Thank the gods! And you too, of course. It's situations like this that I should have made that way higher. <laughs> for a while. Not terribly long, to be candid. I apprenticed to be an alchemist, but proportions were never my strong suit. So I took to trading in wines. More pleasant, I must say. One drinks on the job, and no one ever complains. Makes sense. And the world's always a bit more bearable on a buzz. Play Serpunk Red on stream with friends? Uh, I mean, that... Oh, that would we'd have to do that remotely now. Was looking to buy. And that would probably maybe sell some. I'd probably have to DM and I've never done that before, so I don't know. That's a lot of work. And I can just sit here and play video games instead. So probably not. If somebody else wanted to do it, then heck yeah, that'd be sick, but I don't know. I don't not a lot of tabletop interest in my weird subsector of uh Video game internet shit. Oh, I can make mutagens. This doesn't cost anything? Doesn't look like it. Cool. Race and a hobby just never even came into the same sentence in my mind. Seems weird to bring the two together. Well, Cassidy, uh, I don't mean to put a pin in it, but are you a white man? Because it's never something you thought about doesn't mean that it was a uh, wasn't an issue. In fact, the fact that you never thought about it may indicate that it is an issue. Have you ever thought about it that way? Just because something's never uh, Time you never directly perceive something doesn't so make it long. not real. That's that's the that's the toughest part about it. Is to uh, to kind of be able to wrap one's head around somebody else saying a thing that doesn't correspond with with your uh, perception, but still listening to it and believing it. Yet yeah, I've long awaited this day, so you must forgive me, but I shall go through with it as planned. Ah, it seems my guide has arrived. Greetings. Greetings to you, White Wolf. Uh, I presume you saw my notice. <laughs> Foolish question. You're here. Thus, you must have seen it. Forgive me. I should introduce myself. 
Count Ooh, Belladine. I got a fan. A great admirer of your deeds. Thanks. Not something we witchers hear of. Oh, well, life path. Sorry. Count. Sir, Fantasos, you've, you've asked that a couple times. I think the first right, one, is, no, Ponce, the first sure. run, I'm going but to do uh, Corpo. Just because it looks it looks and fancier, and I want to see like big right corporate down. cyberpunk buildings. You exaggerate, Vilma. Then probably street kid, street kid. Then probably no man. My guards lament, Witcher, but you must forgive them. Now to get down to brass tacks. As you've no doubt gleaned from the notice, I've a rather extraordinary proposition for you. I'm a lover, Witcher, of nature. <laughs> a devotee of the wild. Sorry, just as an aside to uh, to everyone in chat, I actually do try to not talk over the game. So when there's dialogue, you can ask me questions and I'll try to bank them up and answer them when there's not dialogue happening. But I'm not ignoring you. If people are talking in the game, I just try to, you know, leave it to the game while they're talking. Ever vigilant guards, see, will report any reckless behavior to my wife if I get so much as a scratch. And then war will be me. Uh, see, like these moments. But then it just <laughs> leads to me sitting at a decision tree for a very long time. Uh, yeah. Well, the good... Man, that dude's powering back there. The good news is, once you have it, you can you can dive into it as much as you want. Uh, Dagir, have I played Hyrule Warriors yet? I have, a little bit. I played it about as much as I played the original Hyrule Warriors, which is I played it for like 45 minutes and I was like, eh, eh. And also I read a review that basically said there's really no lore in it, which I kind of expected, but I was sort of hoping there'd be something to chew on mentally, but it sounds like it's just, you get to play Zelda characters and beat up a bunch of moblins and that's it. That's it. That's all. Count that's a little doll. underwhelming. It could have been more, a lot more than that, that it? but it is a Musou game. <laughs> So, that was my grandpa. Kind of used to it. Dear man, but my trade is the wine trade. I import the finest vintages to Kavir, my homeland. The very reason for my frequent visits to Beauclair, uh, during which I like to uh, partake of nature, let us say. Really need a witcher to uh, partake? Got guards of your own. Take them, save some coin. I could, surely. But they too deserve a bit of rest, relaxation. Right, lads? <laughs> Besides, plenty of coin. Coin that needs spending. Who dares stop me? Ah, so this is about a rich man, bored stiff, seeking thrills. Well, there's also Clarissa who... Vilma, please. Who what? Uh, my daughter. I always return from my travels with some... Souvenir. Is this prep for Cyberpunk? Yeah, it actually she is. Yeah. Them, Trying to finish finish uh, Blood and Wine before Cyberpunk comes out, so chat about my so it feels like I'm caught up, which there's no real connection there aside from it's the same dev. Need some details before I can say anything. Where are we going? What am I supposed to do exactly? In the roundest terms, we shall admire the local flora and fauna, and while we do. I might preserve there, see? a thing or two. I'm not actually talking about weed. Preserve. This flora and fauna. Of this device, see, uh, a parastisomac. It, uh, it captures, uh, likenesses. Oh, it's gonna be Pokemon oh, Snap? Sister, what? Sick. It's like a movable megascope, capturing moments, transforming them into illusions, based upon which I then paint a painting. So, you want me with you, looking at animals and flowers and... Well, that's more or less what it amounts to, yes. Uh, except you will first have to track down the creatures I wish to capture. I know only the very approximate locations of their habitats. Ah. Well, and uh, should any trouble arise, we'll have your sword at the ready, right? So, agreed? Pretty unusual contract. I couldn't agree more, yes. And I'm prepared to I love the way he glistens in the, the firelight. Kind Don't like, mind if we actually talk about so many exactly fires on camera I'll right now. It's first, great. do you? Surrounded by comforting flames. Please simply tell me how much you wish to receive. Sorry. Well, in that case, sublime. We have a deal. Cool. Doesn't seem hard. Be glad to do something pleasant for a change. Sublime. In that case, here's your map. Before coming here, I dispatched requests to several local hunters. 
They located the habitats of the species of interest to me and marked out their ranges on the map. Good thinking. It'll save us some time. Won't need to track. Ready to go? I'm afraid we have to await the morn. Proper light, see? It's very important. In the meantime, be my guest at my fire, sir. In fact, I'd be delighted to hear some tales of Witcher life. Gonna need to get this guy a turkey leg and a giant mug of ale before he's gonna start popping off stories. I mean, it, it beats getting your shit pushed in by a drunk dude. And wild world <laughs> drunk dude and then waking up in the mud, right I guess. Now is perfect. Oh, oh, it's one of these. Okay. So, wait, is he gonna follow me? Alright, so let's. I gotta cross reference things a little bit. Uh. Expected to see two rivers kind of running to the northwest. Maybe it's... Huh. Thing is, I never know what the scale of the map is. Seems I got the map, so I'll lead. Oh, okay. It'll give me objectives. Wouldn't rather be out here with those guards of yours? <laughs> you jest. It's deliverance to emerge from under their wings, believe me. They're overprotective, uh, oppressively so. I wish to admire the wildlife, preserve it, not watch them kill it in a fit of misguided fear for my life. What if the wildlife attacks us? Then we shall have no other recourse. I do not wish to be something supper to you, but as long as they remain calm, we've no need to provoke them. It's, it's of the utmost importance to me, in fact. Oh, okay. The panthers and centipedes were about this quest, not about squishing all the spiders in the cave. Alright. Now it makes sense. Architecture in Tokyo, it's good to see you. There should be panthers around here. Thanks Stay for the crimes. Keep your eyes peeled. It's Witcher and Audi. Looks like it. Might be a bit of an infection, too. What the hell? Panting. Like giant capybara. Like a bear. Ooh. I'm not the least bit eager to come face to mug with a bear. We should move on. This is why the Witcher oils up, by the way. So we can stride confidently through underbrush and it all just bounces off of him. Look at the deer frolic. They're so beautiful. But I guess Hear that? I... Deer, I think. Not a panther. Incredible. Sharp as a razor, you're hearing? Yeah, that was literally talking about wildlife. Hear that? Panthers. Frankly, I did not hear a thing. Clearly, your senses are far more acute than mine. I must rely on them. That's one thing I really do... I mean, er, again, it's back to every time I play Witcher 3, I find something to appreciate, but... It's really nice that... You know, just came off of what would you could consider a fairly stereotypical quest. There's spiders in that cave. Please go kill those spiders. And then moving right into a really weird quest where some weird nerd wants you to escort him so he can take photos with a helmet camera. He doesn't need to oil up. Those are his natural secretions. That's true, but he also has to undergo a process to express his glands out onto his skin. Panthers have been found. Damn okay. Poachers. Snares. Looks like they were hoping for a bear. Oh. They got caught instead. Oh no. A cub. Will you help the mother? Give it a shot. Gotta calm her first. Likely to lunge at us otherwise. Brilliant. You freeing her. A superb image. Brilliant. You freeing her. A superb. Brilliant. You freeing her. Folk call witches heartless. This will put the light to that. Tysomex upset the animals. Better get out of here. Have the vibe, poaching. I'm content you share my love for animals. Yeah, they were trapped. Took me a second to realize Got that too. Broad interests for a man of the city. I suppose I double in my share of things: wine, nature, painting. I imagine the life of a witcher must be rather more monotonous. 
with all due respect. It is. Never boring, though. Uh, I, for one, cannot fathom only ever consorting with the same creatures, day in and day out. Got a wife? Y yes. What's that got to do with anything? Nothing. Just asking. Ooh, lighten them up, Geralt. Zoom, zoom. Shitty friend camera head? Yeah. We're teaming up to solve mysteries. Centipede's lair. Boy, are those phrases I didn't need to hear. Uh, hunch. Here I'm. It's those... Uh, Centipedes. Giant. Underground tunnel burrowers. Make a distinct sound. We can use that to track them. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like creepy crawly tunnely bugs. Especially when they're moving that fast. Gerald just made a boomer joke. Yeah, I did. My goddamn wife. Fellas, you ever just get really annoyed at your goddamn wife? Sounds like somebody just poisoned her, am I right? Be near the nest. We're here. Well, this vantage point's no good. I shan't capture a good image from here. All right, wait. We'll find you a better spot that's safe, too. Will Tread I? Lightly. Giant centipedes sense the softest sounds, the lightest vibrations. You wake one up, it wakes up angry. How about here? I, I don't know. Isn't it a bit close? Right. We'll find another spot. I mean, maybe. It feels good to stereotypically dunk on boomers because... Seems like a safe spot. I don't know. Safe. I've seen a fair amount of it. I obviously can't comment on an entire generation and their, their behavior patterns and, Fine. and mass. Fine, keep but looking. It's, it's disappointing to just see the cycle turn again where people get old and then they immediately disdain the youth. For, I don't know, because they're different. Or believe different things because they grew up in a different way. And I can see some sentiments like that. Especially with... Uh, I don't know, online situations turning more and more combative, more and more toxic. Here, so, distance seems right. feels good to get a little reverse dunk, even if it truly is against an entire imagination of a, a group of people. I'm annoyed at my wife's lack of existence. That's part of it, man. If your wife weren't such a, a horrible shrew, she would be in your life right now. Not, not being annoying and being a good wife. Vibrations. Gotta send some through the ground. I'll try tossing a bomb or casting a sign. And you watch out. Don't get any closer. Yeah, kids just want to TikTok and want free college. And that's bullshit. That's bull. That's horse bullshit. I didn't have free college and I turned out fine. And ignoring any other factor in that conversation, I'm going to sit back and, and pretend like I've just made a good point. And there we go. I guess di Dimeridium might... Maybe Dimeridium will be useful for once in its goddamn life. Hup! Wow, it actually did something. Bug warning, I think. An excellent day for capturing moments. Oh! Look at those gross things. Mag truly magnificent, that one. We can move on now. Got him. <laughs> Exhilarating. They just don't make aspect like they used to. Exhilarating. Thank you. Uh, you you haven't eaten until you've suspended ham chunks into a giant brick of aspic and sliced it. A flock dwells not far from here. Over like a pate of banana. I'm peeping at them while they mate. Season ended a month back. And then just a nice spritz of mayonnaise on top. I so wish to capture their splendorous tails in full bloom. Is there nothing you can do if they prove uneager to present? Perhaps challenge them somehow? Goad them? What did you have in mind? Don't have a tail myself, and I'm not likely to sprout one anytime soon. Speaking my language, girl. More along the lines of which. Don't make me horny now. They say you can exert influence over lesser creatures. <sighs> Guess I can try. Can't promise you anything, though. Splendid. Consider me contented. Uh, I cannot pinpoint the flock's location, but a hunter I know told me a few likely spots. I'll mark them for you. All right. Let's go find some peacocks. Aspic is the worst food I've ever seen. Yeah. 
There's something about it, the sheen and the color, the like the I was wondering. Why peacocks? My my like, food suspended in epoxy looks far more appealing than food suspended in aspic. So I don't understand the the appeal. I guess it did it did come from like a time when food science was was super uh super in its infancy sort of. So I could see there being something kind of space age and futury about suspending all your foods in a in a jello mold and then eating it as a as an entree. When all you've had your entire life is just like I guess basic food prep. Uh I could see that, but Yuck. Boy. Boy does it not look good in retrospect. And uh I think in most respects it's basically fallen out of most cuisine, aside from places where it's kinda of deeply traditional. There will be a treat for her. This fat girl to mod. Yes, yes he is. There are a few mods running right now. A couple of texture packs. Some uh, some rebalance mods. There's a mod that gives chickens tiny little helmets. We're close. Eyes in the back of your head. I mean, he's got four eyes in the front of his head, so... I th what was that? Oh. And that just sounds like it's directly in front of me. Hear that? Yeah. They're calling to each other. That's kind of cool. We're getting close. There wasn't even a like a. Feather from the rump, coated in suet. Cock shed it recently, and the suet's got a distinct scent. Ought to be able to track the flock. A witcher in action. What a treat to watch. It's like the fanboy quest. Oh, that's lovely. Now. I could just splay the tails. See what I can do. Find a good spot. Adjutant Reflex, thank you for the prime. We're con constantly finding out how bad our food Ready? science was a decade ago. I shudder to check. think what we're doing wrong now that we have no food, no idea about. <coughs> it's, uh, I mean, it's getting less and less, right? I feel like it's getting less. Like, each time the the dumb mistake is 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 less uh, less horrific. Oh, this will be a masterpiece! Smile, please. Uh, just standing behind <laughs> some peacocks. Giant Damn it. Where did they come from? That's Master cute. Followers. Get back. I figure there had there probably had to be combat at some point, right? Time to fight some big ass worms. Get him. Oh shit. It's gonna be like that, huh? Alright. I wonder if I can axie a giant worm. No. Ow. Shit? Ah, Ooh. Oh, fuck, he, he hits you coming out? What am I gonna be able to- Oh, okay, he has an attack where he pops out. Fuck! Like, uh, I have no time to hit him. Are you still taking photos? Maybe the maybe the fuddles will stun him. That'd be good. This isn't Pokemon Snap after all. Damn, you're right. Oh, all right. Let me. I guess I could do alchemy again. Then give me more healing. I don't know if I have life steal decoction. There is one that like stamina spent uh, turns into vitality. That one's pretty good. Yeah, this one, Ekimaru. Try that one. Oh yeah, the circle sign, that's right. Yerden. Good, good call. Maybe that'll work. Uh seem like it got? No.
gotta be close, I guess. Do not look in my direction. Woo, what? I'm lucky I guessed that it was gonna attack again. Okay, I guess it had one HP left. Oh, that's gross. Now. That was that was tense. Uh, I believe I've had my fill of excitement for today. Woo. I did see that Twitter thread where somebody was posting about their pet scorpion or their pet centipede. Get everything you wanted. Drinking mango yes. juice. In that case. I gotta admit it was kinda cute. Camp. And then everybody's like, I would step on that thing, and then everybody's like, Why are you being mean to her pet? Weird dynamic. That centipede Return did look kind of cute, scarfing down that Save that mango sound. that mango juice, you though. You are gratitude, master. You see, lads, there was nothing to fear. Thank you, Witcher, for looking after our day count. Seems the jaunt did him wonders. Breathed some new life into him. Wait here a moment, Geralt. I have to fetch my coin pouch. Pay my dues. New life? He was feeling down? Made no mention, did he? Ten years back, his last Clarissa is her name. Took a spill off her horse. Been bedridden oh, ever man. since. Oh man, is he doing this? Of her own. To show his the daughter the outside world? The calamity. A merry sprite what filled every corner with joy. Count would oft take her out on trips. She loved animals too. Ah. Excursions this... he makes now. Or rather, paintings he brings home. There's her only window on the wider world. Sorry to make you wait. I was dead chuffed to be able to observe you in action. To confirm for myself there that the tales about I'll see you, you converse. were not exaggerated in the slightest. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. You show discipline, reliability, responsibility. I dare say you'd make the ideal business associate. That's a shame you've no interest in the wine trade. One day, maybe. Your reward. Use it well. Speaking of the wine trade. Thanks. I have one other matter I wish to broach. In a few days' time, I shall exhibit my work for some friends. My coterie, so to speak. I feel like he underpaid Would me. Would you come by? Why not, if I'm in the area? Splendid. In that case, I shall see you at my lodgings. I'm staying with a friend while in Tucson, near a village named Frankola. I'll be by. See ya. Neat. Uh, oh yeah, I need to, um, I need to vacate my inventory a little bit. I need to go to a, go to a blacksmith and sell off some, some heavy stuff. Mm hmm There is a, there is a, God, I still have to kill all these plants. <laughs> I haven't even done that. That's the quest that was sort of what I started doing. No, no, okay. Just, just stay focused. Just stay focused. Okay. I guess that the turning grounds are some place I can sell some stuff. There's so much to do. So good. In fact, Geralt hits you like a ton of bricks. Damn right. Geralt, Geralt always hits hard. He's got he's got the sexual ferocity of uh, a Ford F-150 truck. And that grill, that grill rolling up on you, it's bound to intimidate. So don't feel bad. Don't feel bad if you, huh, you draw in breath a little bit. If you're shocked. And maybe a little emasculated. It makes sense. Yeah, my hair's getting really mo. It's long enough now that it's like starting to curl. It is an honor. So, I need to get a haircut. But we're still in quarantine. There. I think barbershops might still be open in LA. I gotta check. Life is pain. Uh, maybe I need to. Maybe I can check and see if I can dismantle that. I think armor rarely has... Mostly I want a Demeridium to be able to, like, finish out my, uh... Hold on. Can you not dismantle? There we go. So let me see if anything's got Demeridium in it. Cosmic Weekend, thank you for uh, continuing your sug. Geralt's been chugging too many hamburgers lately? Yeah, well... 
he's uh he's he's living it up in Tucson. There's lots of wine and good food here. He's just enjoying life, living life and enjoying life. Actually, I remember silver ingots being pretty good for some reason. Eh, meteorite silver very very useful, as I as I recall. Dark iron, I mean, being pretty good, but that's that's special. That iron. injury might need attention that. soon. Dark iron was pretty good, yeah. Oh wait, I really need to put the stuff. Meteorite ore, sick. But that's a relic. I need. To, I should save my relic sets, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, I should. I should put the stuff. I need to go to a. Yeah, I need to just go to a, um... I should... Put the, oh, I'm not high enough. I need, to, I need to store some of this stuff. Maybe girl should consider witching at a stand-up desk. Oh, yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe uh, switching to vegetable-based potions instead of all that corn syrup. Uh, J Bud, you know. Thank you for continuing your sub. Just watched a guy shit himself on s for subs on Twitch earlier. Yeah, Twitch is interesting because it really is like, it's a constant rolling display of people demonstrating just what their dignity is worth. Sometimes. Uh, Reese, thank you for the prime. Excited to be sub number one million. Uh, yeah, you are. You are sub number one million. Thank you very much. I think it's subs, Ruby. Just S U B S. Yeah, thank you, Koning. Thank you for uh. Thank you for the congratulations. I'm I'm glad to have that gaming accomplishment under my belt. I feel like I can can move on with a clear conscience. Shop. That's what I want. Okay, let's get rid of some stuff. I just need to, need to go dunk some of this stuff in storage, I think. Because, yeah, I, I went over that, like, hump where just random armor that I'm picking up is better than the crafted gear that I had. So, I'm back to holding a bunch of stuff instead of wearing it. So long. Yeah, uh, J Bud or J Dub, excuse me. You were you were in fact sub nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. But uh, fancy this, you were also the millionth sub. So somebody must have unsubbed in between that. I don't know what it is, but for some reason, uh, everyone is is exactly the one millionth sub, which is great. It means I get to celebrate it every time somebody subs. Uh, yeah, there's just uh, I guess that's how the the world sort of keeps balance. I'm trying to remember where my home was. You have a... Uh... Oh, wait, there it is. Corvo Bianco. Yep, yep, yep. That's what we need. You know what? Why don't I take Roach? Why don't I take Roach on a little on a little, little trip? Let's just take the scenic route. I could fast travel, but, you know. Let's let's see. Let's sample the night air. Tip of the hat to the thorny Thank you very much. All I had to do was win the tournament. Now everyone respects me. Oh, thank you, Jim Master James. Yeah, those were thoughts that had just kind of come together over the course of, of doing the thing. It's a Twitch accounting error. Oh, yeah, maybe, but again, all works out for me. Oh, wait. I keep forgetting. It's not the, not the trail marker. Oh, shit. Clippy. Holy fuck. Thank you for the giant, giant cheer. I missed that. Thank you very much. Is the new job, new job working out? Oh wait, no, that wasn't you. Sorry, got my, got my people's reasons for celebrating mixed up. But thank you very much. Jesus, that's a big cheer. Thank you. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna store these items exceptionally well just for you. I guess while I'm here too, I can uh, see if maybe I have enough. Oh wait, I can put some weapons up. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. There are two racks there. I do not know how I will ever repay you. Oh yeah, was this the cursed lady? I forgot ready. to talk to her. Hope you're feeling better. That's all. Oh yes. Sarah sends lament. Thank you for the resub. Thanks chiefly to Barnabas Basil's care. Horrible ordeal you endured. Glad I got it short. Yes. Yes, of suffering. Do you know what was worse than the hunker? Watching my loved ones. Aw, oh, poor spoon my lady. Children grow old and die. All my families. Oh, new job is you. Okay, right. Yes. The last of my I'm sorry. I second guess myself for a second, but. I fear. Thank I you for sharing your generosity, go. man. I'm really, I'm really happy for you. Hope it goes well. Jimbo sliced that. Thank you for the prime. This is a big house, big estate. You can stay here. Truly? I could never infringe so on your hospitality. Yet... Yeah. After all I've suffered, the years of starvation, I've but one dream. At last to prepare food that fortifies, nourishes, to delight in the tastes and smells of spices. To sit at one table with others and eat. Hmm. Don't see a problem if that's your dream. You could help Barnabas Basil in the kitchen. Eating his meals. You know he's not a culinary virtuoso. Nothing could make me happier. Thank you. No, thank you. House could use a woman's touch. I've one other thing I'd like to tell you. Many years ago, my father assembled valuables for my diary. I never wet, so they remained unclaimed. These baubles are no use to me now, but to you, well... I hate to say it, but you're in bad shape. them be a token of my... Mm, Gutchy, thank you for the cheer. If you wish to find them, you must go to my old home, to Trastamara. The dowry lies hidden in a barrel in the cellar. There are several barrels. You must give each a knock until you find the right one. Do just that. Thanks. You sure you don't feel lonely out here? I cannot say yet. Too little time has passed since you freed me of my thrall. But somehow, for now at least, I do not feel drawn to the city, to others. Visited others' homes as a white. Yes, but ever at night. When all were asleep. It's so weird that she I remembers all that and can talk about it so casually. Remember, anyway. you can always change your mind. Decide you've lived here long enough, just say the word. I'd never wish to seem ungrateful. And I'd never want you to stay against your will. I'd never expect someone with your past to feel drawn to the kitchen. Do you fear I will cook in your home as I brewed as a white? Counting on you having slightly better taste as a human. Of that, you can be sure. I loved cooking, even as a child. My grandma. Oh, you're off to bed, Clippy? Right. in the kitchen. Have a good night. Her spit roasted oats yeah, was enjoy that bedroom to to, Thought you were a lady. to computer desk to commute in the morning. Do you mean to say a woman of my rank should have had a, a nice cook. little cup of coffee in your slippies? Right, Log into work. It feels and good, I had man. The best of cooks, but I devised the dishes myself. They only prepared them. Hmm. She remember eating a soup full of her own vomit too. Take care. She does seem to uh, allude to her cooking you not being the best as a white, but awaiting your return. Cool. All right. Well. Oh, I did it! I possess the virtue of compassion. Cool. I'm accidentally the best. Best Witcher around. Aw oh, man, I've been selling all my trophies. Hey Jax, thanks for gifting three subs. Is there a place to store uh or can you put armor on display in your in your palatial estate? That'd be pretty cool. 
Oh yeah, I'm not wearing the glasses. What's wrong with me? Oh goodness. Horrific. Awful. So much time wasted not wearing the coolest uh, coolest glasses in the land. That's right, they got bonked off for like a uh, uh, cutscene and I just never put them back on. <laughs> yeah, City, yeah, that, that's pretty good follow up. <laughs> pretty good follow up, I gotta admit, that's pretty funny. I believe you can put two or three sets of armor on display. I thought so. Along all right. Wonderfully. So you just gotta find the spot. Had me order have arrived. All right. Starting I, to really I have five like k, I think, which is we keep going. some of the cheaper some more. renovations. What do you think, BB? As you What's up, Tomcat? Shall we see to the house or the grounds this time? Been thinking about the outer walls. Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might. Dare to make a suggestion? Why not start with a general renovation? I once yeah, we're twinning, right? <laughs> summer residence. We got we got similar styles, you and I. We're gonna get along. Not he looks like Steven Seagal. He kind of does. Sparkle. Maybe I need to find a way to make his hair black. Make him greasier. Armor and weapons, of which he was a passionate. Ah, uh, okay, all right. Well, I mean, it's kind of what I was just asking about. Uh. Here's where I'm going to lean on the experience of chat a little bit, though. Um, is there is there a, any gate, for, or is there something to dump money into in Blood and Wine aside from your your estate? I didn't know if there's another money sink that I should save money for. Uh, where did Winnie the Pooh emote come from? Came from? There's a there's a member of chat who basically drew that. I was playing Kingdom Hearts and I was yelling about how much I hated Winnie the Pooh, so she drew a little doodle of Pooh telling me to fuck off. And I thought it was a, an, an exceptionally expressive picture of, uh, of Winnie the Pooh, so I cropped it out and made it an emote. Wasn't there the Adam Jensen mod? That's true, yeah. The Adam Jensen mod is about as good as it gets. Oh, Grandmaster Armor. Yeah, good point. Yeah, that's a really good point. Hmm. Need to think it over some. Well, you know what? I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to do both to fully defeat the game, if I'm so... Not only... I'm just gonna. I'm gonna drop the money. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna impulsively do it. Shine. I shall get to work immediately. Within a day's passing, I shall have sent for the crew, which I haven't even finished my like. They are the finest. I haven't even finished the uh, the crafting from the base game. I don't have Grandmaster Witcher stuff. Take them too long. I wait. It wasn't artistic zombie. It was Kala. It was Kala Flower. Ice will behold your residence in its refurbished, rejuvenated, beautified state. It looks there like he doesn't believe him. Else you require, sir? We'll see. Okay. That's all for now, BB. Why does that get his own emote? Because it seemed like a good troll move. You gonna wear a full set of armor? No. No, I'm not. But I'm gonna do it anyway. I haven't done... Yeah, I haven't done Rune Master either. Ah, lame. I wanted to sleep in my own bed. I should have done that first. Is this the thing that just gives you like 10%? Yeah, just a little buff. Oh, the Chad Lara with the shades is gone? Yeah, I trimmed some out because they just weren't getting used and they were like really old. I actually probably have a few more emote slots these days. I should find something good to use them for. Oh, Wellsy, thank you. Yeah, I'm glad I'm glad people were there to check to catch it. Wasn't ever gonna get everybody, but it was fun sharing that moment with as many people as possible. Okay. I'm going to finish beating up these stupid plants. Later. <laughs> I'm gonna take a break first. I'm gonna get up and stretch my legs. I'll be right back. See you guys in a second. And I'm back. Just like that. Oh yeah, I also forgot, oop, I gotta tab out real quick. Forgot to turn my closed caption service back on. All right, should be up again. I, hmm. I'm gonna poke around. I'm gonna look at some other some other closed captioning plugins and see how they work. Cause this one is, um, it's a little interesting. I have to kind of manually turn it off and on 
lest it be transcribing what uh, I almost dropped my controller. Lest it be transcribing what's going on in the room. The it kind of removes my muted microphone protection. What time is it in the US? Uh, 9.35 p.m. Also, my my transmission looks a little rocky. Have people been getting stutters out there on Twitch land? Uh, I don't know what's going on, but yeah, it seems a little unstable. Did you ever eat a Pluckers? That's a wing place, right? I think I did. <laughs> if it is a wing place. If it's not, then I'm not sure. You wanted to listen to more Prime? That's what I like to hear. That means you're a gentleman of taste. All you have to do is but wait for me to go to the restroom again. And then it'll be right in. That was the most engaging BRB segment. Yeah. I'll pa uh, hold on a second. And Powelson? I'm glad you like it. That, that's kind of the idea. Is to just, I've always been a fan of sort of like digital collection and collages and stuff. And... And also, sort of like, maybe sometimes accidental edits creating a new narrative. That's always really fun, so... Kind of tie a lot of those things together in just a big old bank of junk that I stream. Uh, check out streamer Kony Konky Talks. Okay. Is it a, is it a plug-in? And it, and it kind of has less to do with how it looks to the viewer. It has everything to do with how it's operated on my end of things. So I don't know that just looking at that stream is going gonna, is gonna to directly address what I'm curious about. I just want something that I can like... Maybe, mm, maybe there's like a keyboard shortcut that I could tie to muting my mic or something like that. Hey there. Oh, Tartarus Sandal, thank you for the resub. Chalupa Monkey, thank you for the prime. And Canadian Trout, thank you very much. Just checked out the CC. Yeah. It's an auto-transcribe, so you get all the charm of a Google auto-translate live and a rolling commentary, and apparently fairly ahead of the stream. So it seems like that would be a bit of a brain twister if you're if you're listening and reading. I have some ideas about... I actually don't have ideas about how to fix that and have it still be an overlay. I could fix it if it were... Uh, in the video stream itself, but I'm not sure that I necessarily want to do that. Yeah. I'm not sure the specifics. He's the only streamer I've seen with closed captioning. Okay. Ah, uh, more plants to kill. I should put. Ah. amount of damage. Yeah, I've seen John Smith uses it. He's actually the, like, seeing, seeing it on John Smith's stream was the reason I was like, whoa, I didn't know you could do that. I should do that. And then, like, a few days later, somebody asked about it, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it. But I just gotta, I gotta tinker around with it, you know? This is the first one I messed with, so it's possible there are better solutions or ones that are a little, a little more automatic. This is not bad. It's like one click, but... It turns into multiple clicks head, since it's on another PC. <clears throat> Mostly I'm just worried about like... I mean this would be unintentionally funny, but... What concerns me is if the closed captioning is still running and I'm away... And I've muted my mic to the stream, but the closed captioning is still going. Either... <clears throat> it can accurately transcribe something that isn't intended to be heard. Or, what's I think more likely, is that will inaccurately transcribe something that people will make assumptions about. And, uh... It's just, it's like a, it's a problem waiting to happen. And I, uh, I want to find a way to make it not a problem, which is to automate it. I'll finally be able to drink so great. A lot of people just tend to think there are only males watching when there are women in a variety of genders enjoying the stream. I for one am a woman myself. Yeah, I... I excuse me. I've, I've tossed up a little bit mentally trying to decide <clears throat> how explicit to be about staying away from, uh, from male gendered 
uh, titles and stuff, but man, referring to the boys is just such a, a wonderfully, like, even just the syntax is great. It's just fun to say and it feels good, but I don't know, man. Maybe that's, <laughs> I did it. I did the thing. Maybe that's my patriarchy like showing that or something, so. It just feels good. It feels way too good. I don't wanna I don't wanna let it go, but I will if I have to. Oh, that's treasure. What's guarding it? Oh, that looks like a Oh, it's a troll. Hmm. You're an alien watching from Jupiter? Everyone can be boys? So like that's what I'd like to believe, but it's it's not up to me to to make that call. Lunar is due to gender neutral term. Most people I've I've t I've like just queried about it say that it is, but a few have said that it's not. And that, that's really what it comes down to, right? Is the people you're saying it to? I don't think, I think dude is in a place where you can't fully say. Although uh, my understanding is, it's like 85, 90 percent neutral. Oof, Konang, I see what you're doing, but unfortunately that first one's already taken. Oh. Call my girlfriend boy sometimes, so it's fine. I agree with that. Well, it's fine with your girlfriend, I guess. It is is uh, I, it's hard for me to imagine the person on the planet that would just be so mortally offended, so utterly disgusted. Like, dis you're not invited to my wedding angry at being being called a dude. But who knows? Maybe that person exists. Y'all is the ap appropriate gender neutral catch-all? Yeah, Texas was ahead of the game. Knight. How are you dubbed? Dubbed Geralt. <coughs> Geralt Excuse me. My thanks, sir. Got a touch of the seven up zero in the throat. <laughs> to demolish our herb garden, you see. I thought I shall take a hum, scare the rubble off, but to my great chagrin, there were too many, and I I failed. Ah there's no use crying over spilt wine. Come with me to Vormentino. I'll patch up your armor or pound the anvil to fulfill some other need you might have. What if I just like seeing dudes pound hammers? Uh, that's weird. I thought... I guess, yeah, this is part of the quest. Fine. Lead the way. I lived in Texas for six years and I still do not get used to hearing y'all a hundred times a day. It's so useful though, right, Drifter? Huh. <laughs> this dude sounds like a Nord. Yeah, he kind of does. Thank you, Witcher. <laughs> I will pound a hammer. <laughs> Gamers is a gender neutral term? Hell have... yeah, it is. Hell yeah, it is. Just can't relate to boys as I don't know what it is to be one nor such, have such genitalia. I think that makes sense. It's like, yeah, being in the boys is a particular thing. You don't have to be male to be part of the boys, but it is very, it is very male leaning, I think, for obvious reasons. But it's not exclusive. Uh,. I just wish the whole world could know what it means to be one of the boys. <laughs> uh, Kumo Morikatsu. Uh, this, this is a combination of things right now, but mostly he's got, like, I don't know where this uh, this Guy Fieri goatee kind of came from, but I'm I'm digging it. I'm enjoying it. I don't think that was there before. Wait, does his hair grow in real time now? Is that a thing? Well, anyway. Comrade? Vineyard's glory days seem like a thing of the past. Interesting. That seems so completely tied to like For bandits are not our only problem. Soviet communism. For yellow me. Parasites, their ever growing plague we also Maybe that's the intention. With. Maid Matilda tries her best, but when folk fear to go out and work, what is she to do? That's why I gotta clean up all these plants. Let's see what he's got. Alright, what do you have? Oh, that looks cool. That looks cool. It is chest armor, though. We can't cage these. We can't cage these birds. They've got to fly. Now, 
whatever. I don't know why I look. <laughs> like, there's really not a reason to look. There's usually nothing, nothing worth it. Oh wait, that's better. That's good. It's more ten, ten more inventories. <clears throat> look at me presuming too much. Thanks. See you later. This is the Witcher of Flavor Village. It's from the the Donkey School. Witcher of Flavorton. Oh, wait a minute. You can do it from that screen. I don't know what I was thinking. Geralt of Fieria. I shall tell you the. But one. I. Oh shoot! He was probably saying interesting stuff. Well, whatever. All right. Hmm. What are you talking about? Nobody was. Nobody's generalizing negative anything. Let's see. Oh, we're at the saddlebags. Wait, you're not gonna buy them back? Oh, you better. Take my junk. Geriatric of Nivea is my favorite. <laughs> Thanks. See you later. Just came to the stream and you're aroused? It happens. It's understandable. Unbeatable Barkin. Preferential financing from the Chad Fanelis on heavy. What a Chad. Oh my gosh, there's only one left. Oh. I'm so excited. This this quest has been a real journey. And it's had like multiple spiraling uh side consequences and stuff, delivered me to many more storylines. It really is wild. Oh wait, here's where I got my ass kicked. The icon's back, so maybe maybe the Now those are some boys. Maybe those boys are back and they're willing to beat me up again. No? I guess it's grayed out. That means it happened. Okay. I wonder if that's what that icon means. It's just a place where people show up and get drunk and get in fights. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. You shan't fight anything better. Enjoy, enjoy the the mystery of local Toussaint. Get in bare knuckle fights with random angry drunk dudes. They usually hang out by the shoreline so they can just pee in the lake. We keep trying to we keep trying to throw them in jail, but they just keep doing it. So. We just made it an official thing. Oi. Well, Cassidy, uh, I just told you why. There's something interesting that happens with people, and I'm not saying you're doing this, but with people who approach an issue in bad faith, is they say a question, and then they receive an answer, and then they just say the question again. So now I'm wondering why you're continuing to ask about it. Also, it's it's annoying because when you do that, you you... You, you grab attention, and it's just an... Yeah. It's just not the best. It's not the best all around. Whoa there, Rose. Oh, shit. Two of these things? Oh, man. Maybe, uh, maybe they're, like, the nice kind, and I can just talk to them. That's probably the case. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. There's more mysteries afoot. Brother. Brother. Yeah. Enough of this hesitation, this fretting, these feelings of guilt. Liam Coronata pays you practically nothing. And you've got a family to feed. So do as I say. Load up a cart with barrels of that new spiced wine in the night. Quiet as a mouse. Haul it away from the estate. Head northwest and when you cross the stream, you'll find men waiting for you. Give them the barrels. They must be desperate to get this wine, because merely as down payment they've handed me pl a pleasantly heavy pouch. Just be careful. 
because a pair of those vile rock trolls hunt in the Plesher Valley. How trolls end up there, you ask? They were imported for the tourney for knights to battle for the crown's amusement. Thing is, they fled the transport and began slaughtering their way across the land. That's awesome. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to tell you the uh, point me in the direction to talk about these things. Um, here's the problem is no one owes you talking about it. That's the thing you might have to embrace here. And if you don't drop it, I will force you to stop talking about it. Um, you need close personal friends, I think. But the pro again, Cassidy, nobody owes you any of this stuff. You're barging in and demanding attention and then kind of ransoming us getting rid of you at this point. So I'm trying to explain why your actions are rude. You might want to listen to that first. Um, because you're never going to get the information you want if you approach it this way. Um, so, so please take that to heart to begin with. Second of all, you've already demonstrated that you're not approaching this issue in good faith. Um, you repeatedly said you're just asking questions. Then you get information. You didn't incorporate it at all. And then you started talking about your side of things. So that reads as provocation. When you're not listening, and what you say doesn't change. It, it seems like you got something on your chest that you want to get off, and you've come into a random place to do it. And that's not really cool, is it? Um, so I understand having something on your chest, but that doesn't, that doesn't mean anyone else is obligated to help you lighten that load. Um, so just, yeah, keep that in mind. Especially when uh, people have given you multiple signals that it's unwelcome. You gotta read the room. But I feel like empathy at its core is kind of the issue here. So, please uh, please accept this opportunity to talk about something else. And maybe consider what I said. Alright, so there's trolls. P.S. I had to share the down payment I've sent because if someone finds you with that kind of coin, they'll start asking questions and our business will end quicker than it began. PPS, my advice. Bury it in a pile of dung. No one will look there. Damn it. You're going to make me dig around and poo. I have to look for magical poo. And I think the trolls are what I have to kill here. Damn it. Damn it. John's emo oh, does John have new emojis? Yeah. Oh, then let's move on. <laughs> That's really good. Damn it, John is so good. John is so good at Twitch. It really, it really, uh... It really lights me up sometimes. It's inspiring. Ooh, ow, there's two! I'm doing so little damage. And I'm toxified. Mm. How does one get good at Twitch? I don't know. I would hesitate to ask because I don't I don't want somebody to give away their their magic. I'm gonna say it though, I'm straight up envious of John's emote game. It's strong. I think I need to just just intentionally invest some time into emotes and see if I can figure something out. To tie that little problem off, I guess. We need a first try emoji. Oh, yeah, that's a really good idea. Well, that was weird. Was it just me or was there like a little black box flashing on screen there? Oh, well, thank you, Nunai. Hold on. Nanayo? Nanayo. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> positive uh, tebriations. Damn, those are so good. Damn, those are so good. I don't, I don't understand how he gets them to look so clean. Like for me, I'll make something at 112, and then when I shrink it, it just looks like a, 
crappy, f shrunk, f fuzzy version of the thing. But all the John's emotes look like crystal clear. There's, uh, I don't know, maybe I, maybe I gotta Google a little bit. See if I can figure it out. It seems like it's so much more than just, like, messing with <laughs> levels or, or brightness. Look at sub-emblems, too. The one-month emblem looks the same compared to 12. You're right. Yes. Sub-emblems do need a refresh for sure. <laughs> I beat Ultra Nightmare emote. <laughs> John collaborated with his chat when making emotes on stream. Gave him the let's move on idea. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. That's another big thing. Just being open to ideas and doing them. Yeah, I guess that's... Yeah. Uh, that's, uh... That's John's secret weapon. is His ability to just, like... Incorporate amazing ideas and, and punch them up and run with them. Sharpen filter? Slow. It, it could just be it could just be sharpen. Yeah, maybe that's just it. Yeah, I, I remember the stream well he's had a few streams, right, where he's made emotes? Come on, Roach. Photoshop and Illustrator. Yeah, I feel like Illustrator Stinch. is how you get, like, really sharp lettering. And there, I think, his, his like, secret, su secret superpower is just his expertise with Adobe. I've only used Illustrator a little bit. Maybe it's worth learning for this, for emotes. Huh. Are you crazy? Oh, Gonzo, thank you for the cheer. They say a great deal about you. This, this is software called Format Factory that compresses stuff really well. Yeah. Good work. Thank you. I never thought that. Master Witcher, have you any news? Solved your problems. Coronada and Vermentino can both go back to operating normally. Under the circumstances, it is my pleasure to announce that the title to the Belgard Vineyard will officially be signed over to the new consortium the two of you shall form. Truly? I cannot believe it! We've done it! Oh, thank you, Witcher. I've no idea how to repay you. Could start with my reward. Yes! Well deserved, I dare say. Here. <clears throat> Far be it from me to insist, but I have a feeling a professional's aid might yet be useful to you. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Come with me. It is high time you saw Belgard. Yeah, I just made some hard cash. I'm awesome. Sure I liked his just dro dove into a whole switch. realm of Twitch channels Something that are named very similar to popular channels yet. to try and gain followers and subs from confused viewers, mostly younger audiences. Play the same game and everything. Wow. I never thought about that, but that has got to totally be a thing. Yeah. Even like make... Do they like try to make themselves look like other streamers? Like same look, same layout, same... Same title? Oh man, I never thought about that. Uh, Kumo, how am I tonight? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. I've uh, today was a pretty good day, all things considered. I was I was pretty productive. I ratcheted down my diet pretty hard. Yeah, good stuff. Um, I'm, like, I'm probably gonna close out the day around fifteen to sixteen hundred, depending on how the last few hours go. But uh, that's good. I was able to roast some vegetables. Like, that was kind of one of the things I wanted to kickstart this week. And basically running through the end of the year is, is really sort of experiment with food prep. And uh, figure out a way to switch my dietary staple back to vegetables. Here's the devil's bargain I've struck with myself. I'm hoping that... Okay. This is, this is a... Boy, this is just... I've tumbled down a hole now. Um... One second. Uh, Lunar says, do streamers own copyright on their persona and branding on their channels? Yes. Yes, you own your own likeness. Unless you explicitly sign it away to somebody else. Um, and usually then it's usually not exclusive and it's just for the purposes of a given project. So, yeah. Uh, I think if, if somebody has a stream where they look like you and sound like you and play the same game you do and like use your phrasing and stuff like that, I think you can reasonably... Sue them or maybe ask Twitch to intervene on your behalf and issue a cease and desist or something like that. And then it, then you get the thing where people just become as close as they can without getting in trouble, which is probably what, what's happening. Of course it's happening, right? Anyway, whole thing. Yeah, trying to ratchet my, my diet back down. I'm hoping that if I cut my calories that it'll make my stomach fine with coffee. And I'm actually okay trading food calories for coffee. 
that could that could be a good path. So there was a time when I, I went down to a thousand calories a week and my stomach issues evaporated overnight. And I, uh, I also were, I just ate a ton of vegetables to be able to cut calorie that hard. So I'm thinking maybe I just have to eat a ton of veggies to scrub my tummy out. I have no idea if that's how that works, but that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, it's in the report feature. Ah, okay. There's a lot of room for the satire defense there. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess, but isn't satire still has to pass like human judgment? Um, I think it still it still relies on reasonable expectations. So I think like if it's if it's obvious enough that it's not satire, if there's no statement being made, I think it would still work out in court. Um, derivative satire, yeah, is protected, but it still has to be judged as satire. Like a straight up copy is not satire. You know what I mean? So there, there is still there is still grounds there. I think I can't remember the exact phrase, but it's like a reasonable, a reasonable something something can look at it and know, and that's kind of true. Making your own cold brew. I ha already have a batch. Actually, I have a batch of cold brew sitting in my fridge that I haven't drank because I try. I'm trying to right, back off coffee until go. next year. Uh, but yeah, I I already infused my own cold brew. To pass into capable hands was no idle whim. For the vineyard has fallen upon hard times since its previous owner's demise. I've been told of workers dying on their rounds, monsters prowling about. Before anyone can call this home, they will have to deal with these uh, inconveniences. That is the minister's wish. More work for me, I guess. If you're willing, we'll gladly accept your help. Yeah, more I money from these people. Sure. I'm milking them dry. Free. Yeah, I've. I guess pot tart. I haven't really tried. Oh shit, that's a lot of money. Haven't really tried uh, drinking without dairy, because yeah, I usually add dairy. I usually like try to. I would, I tried a lot of things, <laughs> so I just have to give it a break. I think it breaks my heart, but uh, I was not able to catch your live streams because living in a different time zone in India. Finally did today. I always love your work. Well, thank you, Vastal. Thank you very much. Or Vatsal, Excuse me. I'm sorry. Thank you very very much. Ah, too that much. means a lot to me. Definitely mm. too much. Wow. Okay. All right. Listen, I got renovations to pay for. You gotta, you gotta be okay with that. A bit less? Is that out of the question? <sighs> it's similar to fair use, right? You have to prove reasonably that the thing you make is transformative. I don't think that that applies to satire. Um, that is a that is a tenet of fair use, though. Fine. We have a deal. It is, it is one of the, the ways to prove, or rather, yes, that is one of the elements in, in which you can claim fair use protection. More or less already agreed, I guess. Oh, that's a weight off my chest, I must say. Your reward shall be fair, I promise. I'll get to work. Bargaining in this game is pointless since all NPCs have a maximum pay limit. I mean, like, there's a hard number that each NPC will will pay, and that's it. Solve all the Belgard's vineyards' problems. That's a lot of problems. Burning, is each one of these, like, its own mini subquest, or is it just going to be like, oh, there's weeds? I guess we'll find out. There's somebody screaming. That sounds like a problem. Yep. Uh-huh. Okay. You! You the look of a knight! Over there! Monsters have come! Yeah, I'm a knight, all right. Damn right. I'm gonna go do knight stuff. Ah. Where are these guys? These aren't... I can't remember what these are called. Andrega? Is that what these are? Oh. Or like, specifically the, the Tucson version of Andrega. Ow! Oh, we got bugarantulas. Shucks. Oh no! Forgot that I have to. Ah. Forgot that I have to occasionally um, repair stuff. I'm gonna switch to tea. Yeah. Something about the secondary stuff in coffee made me feel terrible once I hit 35. You should try a less acidic coffee brand. Yeah. Uh, that's that's what it that's what it seems like. Um, but the the problem is like, what I read is that cold brew is less acidic. 
Um, and I guess I've been mostly doing iced Americanos lately, so maybe that's that's been the problem, is I was drinking way more acidic coffee. So... Oh, and Draga? That's what they are? Ow. So maybe that's part of it. Is I do, in fact, make a make my old cold brew, and it, it's pretty effing good, too. I found some local roasteries that make really good roasts for cold brew, like really rich chocolatey kinds of kinds of roasts, which I think goes super well with cold brew. Oh, no, no, no! No, 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 no! Oh, there's another one! Okay. That's not good. I think my, my Witcher, Witcher power is time to kick in. Less acid, but higher cholesterol? Really? In cold brew? Where's the cholesterol come from? There's, I guess, no, I guess plant matter can have cholesterol. I guess I never thought about that as a thing. Hey, Sudabouse. What have I done to Geralt? Geralt is, Geralt's his most pure form right now. I'm going around solving issues in the countryside. Geralt's a good guy. Ow, what the heck? That hurt a lot. It's kind of hard to see. Which is a weird, weird mechanic. What are you doing? Oh, oh, he does a little sweep. Oh, no! Arrgh. Mr. Deku Nuts, thank you for the prime. Just finished 100% run of Fall Hall, 166 hours. Woo! Was it a, was it a good ride? Did you have fun, Zeno? I don't know if I should invest more into Valhalla, because I just kind of petered out. I got to be honest, I just kind of fizzled on uh, on Odyssey at a certain point, and I don't know that I necessarily am like happy with the time I spent in that game. <sighs> yeah, that's that's a that's a weird thing that uh. I've noticed in whatever combo, I don't know if it's like that's just the Witcher or if it's some mods I have, but yeah, he always has a little spring when he dies. It helps take the ed it, helps, it helps take the sting away from losing, really, to see him just sort of sprung, a sprightly little hop. Really liked it, but you liked Odyssey too. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I never disliked it, but it just seemed like it was good for killing time, which I guess is you know games can be worse than that. That's not so bad. Uh, let's see if I can I can set some of these bugs on fire. Can't see the animations because of all the all the important plants in the way. What the? Okay. Need you to help me out, buddy. I can start by never doing that again. Ooh. Ooh. Play a dangerous game. Pick up Dishonored 2 after several years and it's a genius game. I got really intimidated by that game for some reason. The first level was already like so intense and complicated. But man, man, that game is just, just really good. Arcane's work has been superlative in recent years. And I feel like people haven't really, like, really reacted to it that way. Between, like, Dishonored 2 and Prey, and Prey Moon Crash, 
This feels like, I don't know, feels like everybody's just sort of agreed to not, not care much about how great those games are. Ow! I'm excited for Deathloop. I am. Jesus Christ. I guess they just have a little counterattack once you start bashing them a little bit. Gotta blow this up if I want to get rid of the Endrigas. Ah, oh, shucks. I hope they don't respawn in an hour. They do! That's great. That's cool. I am so glad. People love Arcane? Good. I guess I guess I'm just not a not around a, a lot of that discussion then. But well, that's good to hear. What the fuck? Yeah, it just it just kinda attacks through. Okay. Well, you can't just hit it until it dies then. I wonder if you can I wonder if you can bait that counterattack out then. Yeah, I I Hell and dry! This sounded awesome. Okay, yeah, it's like three hits and then they just counterattack. to the next one, huh? Oh, me what you Man, I guess I can't do the three hits on this one. He always gets me. You got a squish. That's what witchers do, huh? Witcher, more like bug squitch. -cher. Gotta blow you, this up if I want know to know what get I mean? rid of the Hmm. Oh, goodness. This is a pretty crafty way to sort of... I mean, these are essentially atomized tasks that could just be like blips in the world map. But they work them into a larger storyline and a larger quest structure, which gives them the illusion of being unique. And I guess in a video game, what are you doing if you're not rolling around and smacking things with swords? I gotta go get my crap. Ugh. Thank you. It's a pretty awkward way to thank a man who was ripping guts out of a giant bug, but you're welcome. Uh, I think there's... Yeah, there's a place to repair up here. I'm trying to temper my expectations for Cyberpunk the last few days when I hit that sweet spot between awaiting too much innovative enjoyment and underselling the game in my own head, if that makes any sense. Had any similar thoughts? Yeah, a little bit. Um... There are things that I want that game to be that I have no idea if they will be that, so I'm trying to basically remind myself. I guess what I what I really want to do is not presume it's going to be more of an RPG that it ends up, than it ends up being. I want it to be like a Deus Ex level action RPG. Uh, like skills that matter, skills that change not only dialogue, like... Skills that let you do things that change dialogue options and change, like, ultimately change the flow of the game in a pretty meaningful way. They seem to say that that's what it is. They're saying that's what it is. But again, I'm still like, hmm. 
But that doesn't mean now what it did, like, when a game was a full-on PC RPG. Like, I don't know that there's... I mean, there's been Human Revolution, which came awfully close. But I still don't know that there's been a game that's really, like, fl flown as high as Deus Ex 1 did. If it's just a better RPG than Fallout 4, I'll be happy. I mean, yeah. That's that's kind of almost a minimum level. I'm hoping it it uh it hits. I would be very disappointed if it were Fallout 4 and its like stats and and implementations and stuff. Is it on the other side? It's on the other side. Oh. If it's if it's just like a <laughs> oh <laughs> made him drop his cheese or something. Uh, do you know some of the these things but can't say? <laughs> I uh, got another one. Hmm. Kiss a dog's ass. No. I do know some things that I'm not talking about, because there's no reason to. But that that concern is still active and genuine. Yeah, Fallout 4 is not really an RPG. And it, like, when you... I mean, even all of most of Bethesda Softworks open world games are not RPGs. Even though they have stats and the illusion and so... Or all the trapping... They have all the things that people like about RPGs, but none of the actual mechanics about, it, about an RPG is kind of... How I think about it. How the hell do you get to this place? It's like up? Come on. Ooh, oh. oh, maybe I gotta go in and then up. There's stairs in here? Weird. Okay. I had to carry that anvil all the way up here. The best steel in all of Tucson. Take a gander. Oh, I'm not. No, I. Lunar, I won't be making a review on Cyberpunk because Stephanie worked on the game. So there's not even a. Uh, not even the illusion that I could be unbiased about it. Think you could craft something for me? I said this guy was master, so can he do all the all the things? Oh, he only does swords, though. I mean, you can present a biased review as well, though. I guess that's true. Well. <laughs> no, see you later. Could just disclose it up front and then say, buy this game so I get rich. Oh, the Grandmaster Smith is somewhere else. Whatever. I sharpened my... Or I, I fixed my sword. He hammered a staple into it. Let's get back to killing plants or whatever the heck they want me to do. Right. That'd be cool with a biased review. I guess that is really what it comes down to. It's just disclosing early, conspicuously, and often. Oh. Doth I spy a side quest? So content to see you. Le papillon Troubadour. Remember? Hey there. Wait, is this Dandelion? thing. Only ever a joke. Call me Geralt, please. Maybe not. Geralt of Rifir? Why do you need... Naturally. How did it ever escape Isn't that me? what Papillon means? You must know. I'm a devoted fan. Hmm. Thanks. Of Master Dandelion. Oh. I know the bards. Every ballad in his cycle about the Witcher. Oh. Oh, I cannot believe my luck. Need something from me? Indeed. A matter most magnificent. The my dandelion fanboy. Gross. Gross. Now... You shall rescue him while I compose an epic ballad about it. Deal ethics and game journalism? I'm all for ethics and game journalism. It's a pretty easy thing to be for. I don't think it was ever really a problem, but why not have ethics and games journalism? Uh, well, let's be... That wasn't what that was about, was it? Uh, yeah, not to sidetrack too much, an RPG by, uh, as a definition is a little nebulous. Well, for is definitely an RPG. It's just not one that hardcore RPG players like to admit is one. I guess for me, um, uh, something can be an RPG by a few different definitions. Uh, I, you know, I guess I, I realize now that it is it is out of a, a fair amount of spite that I I try to discount it from being an RPG. Because it, it offers so much illusionary choice. Or or even the choices like 
They matter less than ever in Fallout 4, from my experience. I, I could actually be dead wrong about that. But just like how basic the decision trees were and how inconsequential dialogue was to the rest of the game, uh, by and large, for me it was like, okay. It's, it's a smoke and mirrors version of the actual version of this, which is sort of that grandiose uh, Western RPG. Spite is a good motivator. Yeah, but it's not exactly fair, is it? I guess in that case, then Borderlands is an RPG just because it has leveling, you know? If companies send reviewer codes and the reviewer is a bit too hard on them, do they get blacklisted? No. The only things that will get you blacklisted are causing material damage to the company, and a harsh review does not do that. <laughs> Reviews don't matter, <laughs> is, is, the, is the truth of it. A game sells based on its marketing, not necessarily its critical reception. That is something that people get in slap fights about, but they're all convinced they're going to buy it or not already. So that, that sphere of games media has very little importance. Um, the most it can do that I've seen is like, if a game wins enough awards, then a publisher might do a like game of the year edition of the game that can lead to more sales. Um, that, that is the degree that I've seen that the, like, critical layer of games media matters at all <laughs> in the, in the whole thing. Um, so yeah, there, there's actually very little investment that I've seen from publishers and even developers in the actual quality of the review. Now, certainly developers that make a game are very interested in what, uh, uh, games critics think about it, for sure. Uh, they're very interested in, in reading the appraisal of their work. So developers are certainly interested in that layer of it because they're part of that audience. They're part of the core gaming audience, usually, because they make the games. But, uh, yeah. that's uh, So, yeah, blacklists never happen about that. Blacklists happen when you willingly no violate embargo, when you uh, leak information, or when you run content that creates problems like self-serving content that creates problems so like clickbaity stuff rumor reporting stuff or or like posting uh confidential assets that stuff does actually materially disrupt a company and that will result in consequences but yeah bad reviews nah there's very little leverage there um alana has said this before and she she's 100 percent right the only uh the only pressure on people who evaluate games comes entirely from the audience. Um, it is it is entirely from people who are heavily invested in a game being good or bad, and then having to inform them that their preconceived notions are wrong, or that, uh, you know, the things they like are not good. There's that too. Uh, Stairs to Oblivion, Alana has a few actually, where she basically talks about exactly that. Uh, Actually, she has one specifically that was like the truth about reviews at IGN or something like that. And it's pretty much exactly what, what you described. So you should look it up because she does a great job of laying out her experiences. Exactly. Clean the hairdresser. And, and my experiences sure. match that completely as well. Yes, yes. I have no doubt something's transpired. Something terrible. Like how that music sir. was waiting so for the next dialogue line. He's punctual to a fault. I'm certain he'd be honored if I am the one to sing of his dramatic rescue. Oh, yeah, <clears throat> there is that Tomcat, I guess. Some publishers based or based bonuses based on Metacritic scores. But, like, what's the alternative? You base it on sales? You can do that. But I think the Metacritic thing is, is trying to make a statement of we want to make good games. We don't, we don't want to motivate people to just sell units. We want them to make the best games they possibly can and reward them for that. So, in a way, wouldn't it be cool if a game got roundly, like, 95s from critics and for some reason people just didn't buy it, but they still gave bonuses based on that It's the problem is it does motivate then publishers and, and developers to kind of pressure journalists into nudging Nudging scores so that they can buy a car or whatever. Oh, thank you werewolf. Yeah, there's a video. I recommend it. Oh Wait, you've seen it. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Oh, you talked about doing software dev before getting into games media. You ever do any development work at all, professionally or for fun? When I was very young, I made some very rudimentary games in BASIC on a Commodore 64. Uh, but apart from that, no, not really. Never really pursued it 
Uh, I made some mods. I made like a Neverwinter Nights mod. And I made a Half-Life mod. So I, I tinkered around with it. But I never really dove into it because I think I kind of understood from a certain point once I did software development what it would be like to be a software developer on a game. And then it just occurred to me that like the process of playing games and talking about them is more fun than being head down in code making it. Uh, and certainly uh, I think I think that's turned out to be true, at least for me. Uh, I still like coding, but there's really no getting around the fact that like this way I get people to show up and tell me they like me and give me money and they get to play video games and I get to talk about those video games with people. So there's really, there's like almost absolutely, oh, and also I get to do it whenever I want. So, boy, boy is it hard. To, I feel so shitty kind of like saying that, but it's kind of hard to, <laughs> kind of hard to compete with that. Yes, by all means, as you wish. Good. Fine, see what I can learn. Now, if you have to come with me, just one request. Stay out of the way. Mine and my swords. Of course. Uh, what Jean age did I get into coding? Jean-Louis Studio is just there. I think I was like... Ah! What's the matter? 11, 12? Feels I like? I hit upon the perfect ending. And all for the glory of her grace. The Duchess. Yeah, Mival, it's, it really is living the dream for me. Thought this was about a witcher and a coiffure. What's the Duchess got to do with it? Her grace can be as fickle as the cult she rides. Today, all remember my fine couplets at the tourney. Yet tomorrow, her illustriousness bought by her breakfast might demand a new epic poem. One must grab at opportunity before it flits away. <clears throat> well, where shall we start? At the door. By breaking it down. Jeez. The uh, thing is, the numerical review system is inherently flawed and a reductive way to evaluate the true quality and effort put into a game. No argument here, but people like numbers. <laughs> they, they do like to see those numbers. Uh, oops. Wrong button. Oh boy. Everyone's freaking out. Uh, yeah, that, that's kind of, honestly, the, the number thing is more driven by the audience Let's than it is, uh, I think, a, a, I'm sure at the outset people wanted to give things scores because it just makes sense. And I think even to some degree back in the day, it was quite a bit easier, I think, to, to almost objectively compare software and turn it into a, turn it into a number. But it's, yeah, you're right. Mathematizing uh, artistic expression is always a silly thing. How do I get fat? Uh, mods. The power of the PC. It's not part of the base game, unfortunately. Buddy, mine has this opinion. Anything below an eight is bad. Eight is just okay, and nine is good. I mean, when you when you only ever play the best games ever made, yeah, it can feel like that. When you're only ever in the top tier of like ones that have been focus tested to heck, and and it's had hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars of development. And, seven different studios yeah yeah you get to you get to be like oh eights no thank you uh when you're only playing the best stuff every year are you ready for the new season only here the latest hairstyles from the north at reasonable prices avant-garde streaks and highlights symmetrical and asymmetrical bobs evening styles including the her illustrious highness old elven hair straightening treatments permanent wave truly it is permanent Trust your scalp to the master, Jean-Louis Ludovic. Okay, that's... He, this is how he uh, conditioned his hair to look like. Empty pomade jar. Strong floral fragrance. <coughs> uh, very strong. A real RPG has diet responsive appearance. Special floral elixir. The greatest RPG special of all time is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Secret. Yeah, <laughs> boss, we, everyone goes there, man. Like ran out. What a cool feature to have. That does, I guess that and Fable. Like the biggest games I can think of that do that. Hmm. Scissors are completely dull. No way you could use these to cut hair. This jar is empty too. Scoundrel. 
Fable is unique because it actually tried to extend the sort of interactive world simulation into new areas. <coughs> Tight blood. Knives flecked with flesh. Oh, Red Dead? Oh, wait. Arthur can get fat in Red Dead? Really? How come I didn't know that? I just grew like crazy... Crazy quad-tipped mountain man hair. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know you could pack Arthur full of beans. Aw, oh, man. Metal slug? That's true. He doesn't review video games, but I always liked Anthony Fantano's approach to reviews with a number at the end. He goes into depth about what does and doesn't what he or what does and doesn't like about an album, then the number represents how much he personally enjoyed the album, kind of like a percentage. Okay. So yeah, you kind of, uh, I guess you kind of just incorporate the fact that the number is thoroughly subjective, and it, all it does is rank your your enjoyment. Sounds like a good compromise to me. You get the number, but it's contextualized, and not like... That's the other thing too, is there was actually a, a, a grand sentiment in video games criticism for a long time that games were fundamentally getting better. Um, and it was, it was kind of easy to understand why. Uh, with like technology getting better so like the nes to super nintendo to like playstation were such intense leaps of quality that it was so easy to think that it was all driving somewhere that there was some gaming valhalla that that game design and, and game hardware was marching towards uh i think after long enough of i, I think gen 7 being so long and stuff like that kind of made that since that sentiment sort of fade away but I think that does play into this idea that scoring games against this notion of a perfect 10 kind of makes more sense in that context of there being this like communal drive in the industry to attain video game perfection. Uh, Jess, it's good to see you. Hello. Hello and welcome. I'm in the middle of a, a barber mystery. Dear Jean-Louis, or Jean-Louis, Jean Louis, there we go. As you instructed, I have taken a post as assistant royal hairdresser to King Thancred Tyson and have been active in that position for two months. I dash this note off to you now because I must inform you of a most startling development. After weeks of analysis, consultations with specialists, and trial runs on model doppelgangers, the chief royal hairdresser, Master Hector, has decided to give Marziola, Marzia, Marziola, bah, the king's current favorite, a bob, of course, Marziola, being a mere king's mistress cannot indulge in such, such extravagances as asymmetric, or as an asymmetric bob or a daringly shaped nape. Therefore, her bob is rather of the classically elegant sort, with a fringe that wonderfully complements the line of her eyes and covers her altogether unfortunate forehead. Just as we speculated, the bob shall soon make a triumphant re-entry as the absolute rage of the royal salon. And thanks to me, you, my dear friend, are now the first hairdresser of the South to know about it. I thus declare my mission accomplished and a stunning success. I'll gather up my trappings and prepare to return. Hope that you are ready for a long and eventful tete-a-tete -tete once I arrive. And I hope that will be soon, for this seaside climate really does not suit me one bit. And this swill they call wine in Corvier is positively disgusting. Warm embraces Edgard Lavalier. Lavalier. I got. I. I never feel more American than when I'm just, tr just stumbling all over a remotely foreign long. name. A manicure, curling, Centrian pendulum, Rivian ponytail, craftsman's do. Hmm. Long out of style in Novigrad. <laughs> How uh, does he know about hairstyles in Novigrad? Whatever. Last one was a certain. Zitrone, thank you for the resub. Do know her? Yes, a dear old bird. Jean Louis done her hair for a decade, completely harmless. Sketch here. Looks like a map. Does this mean anything to you? Hmm. I may understand where it points, but if so, there's not there. Just fields and meadows. I think I understand. As do I. Perhaps. Ooh, MB Voids. Thank you for the sub. He looked, yet all was quite proper. God. Why do I have, like, Diet Dandelion following me around in this chopper. quest? Mind being quiet for a minute. I think I might know what happened to the hairdresser. No I like how break in. kind of already Sign slipped into the same dynamic. To my mind, he just went out to find ingredients for his pomade. Looks like he ran out of pomade. <laughs> yes, indeed. 
He'd have gone into the meadows beyond the city to gather flower petals for it. Trolls must have devoured him. Or a cyclops. Splendid either way. Think you could find the place using his map? Naturally. Lead the way there. Oh, good. I hope he walks slowly. Oh no, he seems to be going. People are too good at short-circuiting something they believe is objective. Oh. A few paragraphs of thought-out review. Bah, not decisive enough. Arbitrary number system that tells me how good a game is? Yeah, objective enough for me. Yeah, what, what, what blows my mind is when people then weaponize that in a weird way to make the most illogical statements you can ever think of. So, like people juxtaposing numbered scores from an outlet that can sometimes be decades apart just to show you how stupid games journalists are that somehow a single outlet should have one some like, should somehow have a melding of brain matter and that everyone should think exactly objectively the same about every game even like years separated from different authors is just absurd but people have a lot of weird concepts when it comes to uh whining about media they like air quotes like oh you finished playing yakuza like a dragon uh okay i'm excited to get more into that uh yeah that game is just so comfy there, everything about it is so pleasant beating things up via menus ichiban is just such a wonderful wonderful protagonist they ventured beyond walls by vines entwined Into the unknown the poor barber to find Gonna do that the whole way Bidding them farewell the gravestones must covered They strode briskly on zero. by doubts unencumbered Cool <sighs> Big review sites never did a great job highlighting their viewer the and what they like from the map yeah, <clears throat> I guess I guess the uh, I would say reasonable assumption is that most readers aren't gonna invest that much in learning about a, a writer. But yeah, I agree. It's 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 a situation that has a lot of potential remedies, but those come with their own their own. Like there, I don't think there's a, a a very convenient solution there. For me, uh, and and I say this a lot, so I apologize for the repetition. But my approach is always like. It's it's possible to be objective about your subjectivity. It really it is, and that's that's kind of the approach I take to reviews. Is is if you play enough games and you know yourself well enough, I think it's possible to separate what you can say like actually fundamentally and mechanically works about a game or doesn't work. I think it's possible to say this mechanic's busted because it doesn't do this, or like the intention seems to be to do this, but if you just do this instead, you never have to worry about it. Like those are ways you can be like this is a pretty mechanically kind of that this is a game that mechanically operates well or doesn't. Uh, and there's there's ways, I think, to speak about that objectively, because it kind of is describing the function of a machine and its ability to create uh, an interesting gameplay experience that is subjective to a degree, but also can, can roughly be objectively described. But then, yeah, there's all the subjectivity that when it gets to that, it's like, well, I liked this for this reason. And then you can make, you can try to, to uh, describe the thing as objectively as possible. It helps to just show it, man. Like, uh, game reviews got way easier when you could just use audio and video of the game that people want to see anyway to kind of justify your point. So I think when all those those things intersect about being able to describe what makes a game actually work or not work, or to be able to um, compartmentalize the parts about it that resonate with you and be able to convey why they did or didn't, uh, that's something I think that... And then I think to go one step beyond that and be able to say, if you're this kind of person, you probably won't like it. <clears throat> or if this is what you like in games, you'll find it here or you won't. That's the, like the Magic of Dark Messiah and the, the kick button. Oh man, what a magic button. That game, that button makes that game. I guess that in wacky physics. <clears throat> Excuse me. Damn it, get back. Oh boy. Oh, this fool thought he wasn't going to cut up plants for five seconds. Put me in my place game. Oh.
important for your viewer to tell you how, makes, <laughs> how much it makes you feel like being Spider-Man or Batman. Those are the only things that matter in video games. How much does this make me feel like my, uh, my superhero of choice? Thing is, I think I think that is a useful a useful statement, but you have to say why. Like you have to describe the actions that you associate with feeling like Spider-Man, and then kind of lay out how the game enables that fantasy. Hey, jerk! The problem is like a lot of a lot of reviews tend to just like sort of go through a laundry list of of subjective evaluations. Ugh. So they'll be like, the swinging feels good, and the punching feels good, and it, uh, the cutscenes are good. Therefore, it made me feel like Spider-Man. And with just a little bit of qualification on most of those points, you can be a little better about letting the, uh, letting the viewer sort of feel like they're being empowered with information to make a decision on their, themselves versus telling them what their decision should be. Oh, well, it makes you feel like Spider-Man or Batman, nothing else. Damn it. I gotta I got, I got listen to him sing again. A death effect is amazing. Yeah, I don't know why that is. Geralt's like a, like, you know, those little prank can, can of snakes. <laughs> he always fires out. Hey, Ethan, how's it going? It's good to see you. Oh, Commander Moose, you heading out? All right. Have a good night. Thank you for watching. review makes me feel like I've played the game. I think that's that's probably the sentiment that's probably the sentiment that I would aspire to with any review. Is like as much as it is here's here's kind of what I think. I think it is like Ooh, God. Yeah. Impart the reader with uh with as much information as possible. Or much pertinent information. That's kind of the that's kind of the goal of a reviewer is to distill distill what matters and what doesn't when it comes to making a decision about how to spend your time or your money. It's not really it's not really like I played a lot of video games, so here's what I think. It's I played a lot of video games, so here's what you need to know. It's like if you know a lot about cars, you have to consider like what's somebody's lifestyle. What kind of cars do they like when you're recommending a car? Ugh. These plants are evolving all the time. What beast was that? An archaeospor. Even if you think, uh, like, even if you're like a total, a total automotive enthusiast, and you think this motorcycle is the best motorcycle motorcycle ever built, you wouldn't recommend it to like, I don't know, like a father of four who's who needs to take his kids to school. You know, uh, that's kind of that's kind of how I think about maybe game reviewers or game reviews in general. Miss the mark sometimes is uh, considering like. The taste, not only the taste of the reviewer, but the taste of the of the reader. That there's things they may not be into, no matter how well they're made. Any kind of critique requires a personal opinion. It's up to the audience to know what the reviewer perceives as good. Might that be more? Yeah, nearby? and I think that's a that's that's an aspect the reviewer can make easier on the audience. Uh, if they're good. <laughs> Get the double sidecar. <laughs> no, Let us continue onward. I know you'll stand in my defense. Yeah, and then you get the add-on. Get that upsell. On to the second point on the map. Alright. Witch's plate flash juices spouted and poured. Covering all about in a narcospore's core. John Lewis basket. I'd recognize it anywhere. He was here. We can be certain. Now. A basket of flower petals. Same smell as the pomade. He rubbed his basket down with here, pomade. Here. I this guess it was resting like behind his hair, so that makes more sense. A clue! I think I found one. No. That reminds me. I got to get back to Miles Morales. Man, that was a pretty game. I'll say that. And, and Demon Souls. Grass is trampled. So many Multiple good video games, you guys. We are blessed. Seems you were right. The gamers are blessed. What's up, Grace? Of a missing freezer and a witcher most lewd. No, that's not right. Dandelion's a major character. Yeah. 
This is a dandelion fanboy, though. So? On his trail yet, are you? Can't wait to stab some plants Mountain to death. Rock. Trail's gone cold. Wandered deeper into the cave. I've always wanted to make a YouTube channel or some kind of review platform with no pretension of objectivity. Basically just saying that I like these games and this is why I like them personally. I mean, go for it. There's a million of them. That's basically all of them. Yeah, that was a little burp, wasn't it? It's a little burp. My, a Toxodakis. To brought one to fear. I'm sipping on a, I'm sipping on the no bub. You bub, you burp. That's that's the rule. Another one in the database for the term paper gaming and literacy. <laughs> is this going to be part of a? Is this going to get cobbled together into a, a like a an elective college course someday? You bunk munch. Uh oh. What did he do to you? What did he do? He quaffed me, gave me a duck's ass, an ape drape, a beaver bottle. I don't even know. So ashamed I couldn't attend the tourney. I'd have proved my valor. Mama said Vivian that I my pride. His hair was so bad. He with his talk of the rage. Aww. Missed my chance by the hair on my head. Got him back good from what I can see. That is what they start. I've not yet decided if I should snip off something more. It's hair. It'll grow back. Really want to kill a man because he gave you a bad cut. And who are you, God about, to lecture me? A heraldic lord? With a bleeding champion of the oppressed men? <laughs> At him! Oh, good. Really? Listen, children, the story you shall hear. And he's singing already. Who walloped a rogue knight's steady hair. I really gotta murder these dudes? Oh, that was good. Do it again. Ooh. Ooh. Remember? Ooh. Oh. <clears throat> Holy crap. Wow, oh, they messed me up. I, usually you can roll through enemies. Usually you shove them out of the way, but no. I just I was stuck there rolling in place while that dude filled me with arrows. Ouch. Uh, I'm scouring Lista Library Science Database for a term paper I'm writing. Usually somebody will have an, written an article on gaming from the 20 aughts. Ah, uh, meet the gamers? Oh my god. How can I check that out? I want to read that. read that so bad. Yeah, elevated elevated games media in the mid two thousands was maybe the worst thing ever, because it wasn't fully underground anymore, but it was also just like so horrifically, like, pleadingly juvenile in tone. It's kind of what it feels like. Just such a so desperate, so desperate for legitimacy, even though like that what. The legitimacy was in the money. It was already legitimate, but like this weird notion that the world needed to also acknowledge it. So yeah, you start to get these weird, like, just bizarrely self-congratulatory term papers of like, yes, we did it. Us gamers suffered through the long darkness of being ignored by the world. And now we get term papers. I'm gonna be a part of the gaming industry. Come on, and me too. wasn't getting the parry. Oh no. Do we, uh, that hair doesn't look so bad. Just has a little... Just a little buzz cut. Le Papillon. Le Beholder's wounds. You saved me at the last second. You're welcome. Jean yeah, Jess. Witcher 3 music is so good. Let's get out of here before he... Quiet, both of you. I've got it. Specifically, uh, Blood and Wine soundtrack is astoundingly great. While his power will set loose, heaven would spiral. 
The witcher cleft him in two lacerated. His neck swing the swine adroitly castrated. With one more caress from the witcher's blade, the knight's guts popped out, his breakfast betrayed. Then he hobbled a pace on his stamp arms like crutches, all for the glory of her grace, the Duchess. That was actually pretty good. What about my pay? I've decided you should receive a reasonable share of the royalties. Pebble, let us say, semi-annually? Meaning you're broke just now. <clears throat> I owe you a thousand thanks, Master Witcher. I, I'll gladly pay your reward. Not to mention trimming you when you see the need that come by. Mm, thanks. Take care now. Okay, well. The Right Honorable Sir Duval. In accordance with our agreement, I deliver to you a poem extolling <laughs> poem extolling the beauty of your beloved, the noble Vivienne de Tebri. I hereby waive all rights to the authorship of said poem and settlement for the initially agreed amount that shall be deposited in my account at the Chanfinelli Bank. Oh, call me to justify the wrong. Oh, I already messed it up. I already messed it up. Oh, call not me to justify the wrong that thy kindness lays upon my heart. Wound me not with thine eyne, eyne, or I, but with my tongue. Use power with power and slay me, not by art. Tell me thou lovest elsewhere, but in my sight, dear heart, forbear to glance thine eye aside. What needst thou wound with cunning when thy might is more than my oppressed defense can bide? Let me excuse thee, ah, my love well knows, her pretty looks have been mine enemies, and therefore from my face she turns my foes, that they elsewhere might dart their injuries. Yet do not, yet do not so. Since I am near slain, kill me outright with looks and rid my pain. With expressions of deep respect, and commending myself to you for the future, John of Black Forest. Is this supposed to be his like? This supposed to be his uh? His tournament poem. From Meet the Gamers. Oh, awesome! Take a look at the two characters on those pages. Do you recognize them? The image, uh, the image above, of course, is Mario. God, I want. Oh man, I, I. Is it? Is this like available online anywhere? I want to read it like I'm producing a low-budget gaming documentary in 2004. Oh hell yes, hell yes. Hold on, I gotta tab out. Oh no, full screen application. Please don't crash my machine. Okay, and it's back for some. Yep, there we go. Oh, that's wonderful. That's great. Thank you very, very much. Meet the gamers. Oh my god, are you serious? By the early 1990s, Mario was more popular and recognizable among children than Mickey Mouse. Those children are now adults with children of their own. The image to the right is Master Chief, star of Bungie's Halo and Halo 2. On November 9, 2004, Microsoft sold 2.4 million copies of Halo 2, generating 125 million in revenue and shattering all other records for one-day media sales. What you know about these icons says a lot about your age, taste in media, and connection to pop culture. Now, those are the only things that matter, being young and connected to pop culture. Why pay attention to games? For starters, games are the medium of choice for many... Why is that in quotes? The medium of choice for many millennials with broad participation among the 30 and under population. Although part of a web of new media technology and social shifts, games are the quintessential site for examining these changes. You see, games are at the core 
of world culture at this very moment. That this moment being 2005. Yeah. See, it's this again, like, guys, games are really the most important thing. I don't know. I'm 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 being shitty, but that's it is kind of drenched in that that sort of vibe. I'm sorry, uh, authors. Maybe I'm being a little too negative. Game cultures feature participation in col in a collective intelligence. Oh, like MMOs? Blur the distinction between the production and consumption of information. Games are pretty focused on consumption. Uh, emphasize expertise rather than status. And promote international and cross-cultural media and communities. Now, that, that, they do that. Most of these characteristics are foreign or run counter to print-era institutions, such as libraries. Don't! <laughs> Games will overthrow society. Libraries set aflame so we can use the thermal power to create more copies of Halo 2. At the same time, game cultures promote various types of information literacy, develop information-seeking habits and production practices like writing, and require good old-fashioned research skills, albeit using a wide spectrum of content. In short, librarians can't afford to ignore gamers. Woo! That rules. I'm going to read that. I'm going to read the rest of that later. I don't know why they decided to call out librarians in the middle of their term paper. Yeah, it's in the library journal. I guess they won in the end. Gamers always win, baby. You can't be you can't be ignoring gamers. Oh, I guess I finished that quest, huh? Why is this this cave icon is still lit up and I don't like that. Librarians ignore gamers at your own peril. Yeah, crunch is basically mood lighting down there. And mood lighting back there too. Oh, the Fire's d dying down a little bit. Is my camera low frame rate for you? For anybody? Is that just me? Sometimes my uh, preview monitor gets a little weird. This is like serialized professional writing. Yeah, I know. It's annoying, right? <laughs> Have you seen High Score Girl? I started it. And I gotta be honest. I was a little... I was a little creeped out by the game, or sorry, the show sort of setting, setting itself up so that like it, feel, it felt a little too like lonely dork fantasy to me that you'd be playing video games and then this like interesting girl just shows up and is good at games but doesn't talk and all she wants to do is follow you around and listen to you sort of nerd out about games all the time. I was like, eh... This setup has me feeling a little sketch. That doesn't necessarily mean that the show is that way, and Lord knows a lot of shows will start off with some pretty weird, stereotypical stuff that uh, I have often judged too quickly. But yeah, I watched a couple episodes and was like, eh, this whole show so far just seems like it's, it's like, it's just a nerd kid gushing about games he likes. Which, yeah, that's me, but <laughs> I don't know, I was, I was hoping for, for like, Something a, a little more kind of steeped in an arcade culture. And there's a little bit of that. But it seemed like it was most, it was just, this is going to sound very strange, but it seemed like it was like arcade culture fan service rather than being something that like was actually sort of a story <laughs> tied, tied to the setting or to the time. Uh, maybe it develops that. It's not every day a streamer roasts your old professors. Oh no! <laughs> Sorry. Did I really just dunk on uh, academians with wonderful careers? <clears throat> Here's the thing though, with most anime, it, it can be utter trash and I'll watch it anyway. But uh, this particular utter trash, like, I'm the person. I'm the person it was pandering to and it felt a little weird to be pander to about that because because I have very fond memories of of my days in the arcade um I had them late I I only had the money and the transportation like when I was in college and that was basically like the last two to three years of, of arcade's relevance in any don't usually any term nights. need to come back during the got my ass kicked in a couple of third strike tournaments so that was fun I remember I got a f I got a few rounds into a like a CVS2 bracket once but that was it and I oh dear don't listen to that Something horny is happening. Don't listen. Crunch the bunch. Thank you for the sub. Focus on the sound of the sub. 
Okay, I think the horniness has subsided. Watch Jujutsu Kaisen? Perhaps I should. Just I trust your judgment in these matters. I have a di- I- oh. I have a disc of fucking Dragon Ball Z Kai that I have to watch. I don't, don't want to do it. Dear Buclera, wake up. You're being diddled in the derriere by a ruling elite which plays you like fiddles. <laughs> in the broad daylight, they have conspired to deprive you of the rightful heir to your throne. It is the Duke's eldest daughter who should take power after his death. Yet he has fed you far-fetched tales about some curse and forced you forced on you his younger daughter. Do not stand idle. Do not tarry. Revolt. All those who will not allow such treatment of themselves and their fellow subjects, let them be at the ready. The rightful heiress to the throne might return at any moment and then she shall need our support a concerned subject oh yeah i gotta wait until morning master miller i've been reading the manga for so, so long how would you up. explain nice. it what? whether it pours for a week or the sun bakes our pates we've always mud up to our ankles here you can't blame me for beauclair's fickle weather fickle weather i've seen you you empty your chamber pot in front of our shop each morning, so folks will dirty their boots go to you to get them cleaned. A far-fetched conspiracy theory, sirs. I'll conspire to welt your bum with my belt. Come here. Leave him alone. Just who the spit are you? Your nightmare. Oh, oh shit. Should I adopt this child? I mean, Geralt does have a dad bod. Hmm. His father, and you won't touch him. I won't let you. Oh, poppycock. I knew his father. A grifter, a Shit. cheat, just like his brood. Called out immediately. Him honesty. He'll not leave muck at our shop door just to draw patrons to his own stall. So back away, drifter. Not gonna happen. Won't it? Well, then we'll thrash you as well. Which is all the same to me. Wow, I was holding left trigger. Fuck. Lock-on sucks so bad. Uh, approach. Uh, I can't. I'm stuck. Let's charge. Take him for a ride. Stay together. Come on, come closer. Ah, Jesus. Roach! Stop it! Stop! I know you're concerned. I'm I'm worried too. It's okay. God! Piss out of that dude, literally. We're having a lot of trouble What's with those three? Yeah. That was rough. I'm investigating the beast. <laughs> the Duchess's orders. Ah, yes. We've heard of you. And these men. What are they doing? Nothing really. Had a little misunderstanding. Figured it out though. Uh-huh. I see. As the Duchess's protege, you may go. But this lord, that's another matter. You'll come with us. 
Some time in a cell ought to scare the dimwits out of you. Damn. Rough justice. It's kind of what I was interested in learning about. The arcade scene was slightly before my time, and hearing about the development of gaming consoles. You're very good and the what was revolutionary system. at the time I found very interesting. Ah, especially when work, I think of my first Which console or cell phone and the sheer amount of computing power that is available. Okay. Yeah, maybe... Mm, maybe I should think about it more like that. That it is sort of a cloaked documentary. Which is an interesting framing device for that sort of thing. Maybe I'll maybe I'll revisit it with that in mind. That maybe maybe it has something to teach me about video games. And that's it's kind of framed as the nerdy gushing from the main character, but I don't I do like hearing people talk about video games, it's true. Sometimes, in some contexts. I get very picky about that, it turns out. Oh look at this, I'm gonna adopt him. Yeah. How you imagine that working? Splendidly. That's how. I suggest a partnership. Where I see to the boots while you stand guard. And as you're the stronger, come morning you take the chamber pot out and help me make mud. Bit about the mud's true. They were right to want to box your ears. I've got to make a living somehow. So, what say you, sir? Partners? Let me think about it. How can you not team up with a lovable little, like, street urchin or scamp? Listen, I'm interested in a certain gentleman. Oh, wait, wait! Before we get to talking, please! Take a seat. I don't know that that chair is equipped. But my boots are clean. In this city, no boots are clean unless they just come off my stamp. A seat, sir, please. This is the wood creek. Uh, take a load off, girl. So then, who was it you wanted to ask about? One of your patrons. Tall, elegant black frock. Not from around here. An arrival. Hmm, indeed. I hear a faint bell ringing. A modest sum might make it sing out loud and clear. Is this kid really shaking me down for money after I prevented... 500 crowns. Prevented what? three grown dudes what? from kicking his ass? What would you even do with that kind of coin? Expand my venture. I'm sure you can imagine. Have a proper stand with a big sign. I want a new box, too. New polishes, new brushes. And, if I've enough coin left, I'll buy a share in a launderer's. Get wastewater for free. Hmm. <laughs> Got it all planned out. I should think so. Capital is all I require. <laughs> can you not axie the child? It's funny. Yeah, you can. It's right there. Look at the power on Geralt right now. The spray, the splay, the camera positioning. Staring right down the barrel of the gun right now. I'm sure you're feeling it. I'm sure you're feeling the intimidation that comes from st staring at that monster. Pay the lad, yeah. No, it's too cute. I have to. All right. Let's see if we can't. I can't mind that. control the the cute child. Jesus. You never. Oh, that's that's a really interesting use of this mechanic. You never negotiate this way. This is this is like the first time that something like this has been. Been re, uh, kind of recontextualized. I like it. That's not even worth the spit I'd need to use to discuss it. Oh my god! Wow, he got really pissed off. Well, I mean, what happens if I annoy him? He just he just pisses. He just goes away. Oh, look at him. He's he's like buffing real angry now. He's dead eyeing me. All right, kid. Hmm. It's not quite. Give him four twenty. No. Now that is world class thinking right there. Shit. It's not quite... I don't know. This dumbass kid. Gonna tip over. Stupid little meter gonna fill up. Fine. Fine, you turd. Fine. Just do ah, it. See? I knew it. has murderous shit. intent. Guess I can agree to that. A thousand thanks. I shan't forget it. Now to the matter at hand. I know the fellow you seek. Though I don't know his the same. name. A steady patron. Gets his boots cleaned every few days. He's very good to me. Always pays me a premium. Know where I might find him? No. But you could wait here. Perhaps he'll stop by. Don't have the time for that. Sure you don't know where to find him? Or maybe notice which direction he came from? When I clean boots, sir, 
I do not look up to see where folk come from. I clean. It seems you're having a rough go of it. Oh, you're here. Feeling better? I am, thank you. The local necropolis. The air does wonders for me. Now, if I might intercede, I dare say I have the right question to ask. Young man. On a windy out today. One drop added to your boot polish will help you wipe even the most encrusted boot clean as the dome of St. Nebioda's Cathedral. With it, you will serve three times as many patrons at a fraction of the effort and piles more coin. I am prepared to give you this vial if you tell me where the man we see. Oh, the is. annoyance meter affects how much he wants? Really? Okay. Won't hurt him. So if you overshoot, then you end the up having to pay more? Or try, undershoot? He's kind. kind of the same when you're negotiating? A friend. Yet we had a falling out of sorts and was like I didn't know that that's how it works. Out. I leave his boots at the door of a house near the port. The door is red. But I do not know if the gentleman lives there. Worth checking. Might happen on a lead. Would you let me scrape the dirt off your kickers before you go? With all due respect, sirs, your boots could stand a cleaning. Thank you. Perhaps later. Handled that kid pretty well. Finding the right approach. That's the trick to dealing with children. Mm, yeah, saw that. Meaning, the right thing to bribe them with. Oh, it gave me a... Yeah, there can be only... Hey, look at that! Give me there can be only one credit. I guess that was my generosity. So see, it works out. <laughs> He's going to expand his, his horizons. It's fine. With haggling, you can never go beyond 50% of the base rate. It will always fail. Oh, okay. I guess except for that one circumstance where the guy was like, ask whatever you want, I'll pay it. And that actually was true. So I do like that they're kind of working the haggling mechanic into the story, into new contexts, which is really cool because it basically didn't didn't matter at all. And yeah, Base Witcher 3 was just kind of there, which that's kind of interesting. Maybe that's one of those things that they really wanted to matter, but didn't have time. But then with Blood and Wine, they were able to find a way to like use the mechanic properly. Ooh, that makes you wonder, right? How much of that are we going to see in Cyberpunk, you know? Like mechanics where it's like, why is this even in the game? And then maybe in DLCs it's like, oh, that's why. Hey, what's up, Annie Tolkien? Do this quest soon, it's really nice. This story one? Or the There Can Be Only One quest? Get the sword ASAP? Okay, I'll go do that then. There can be only one. Reducing digital divide effects through student engagement and coordinated game design. Among the key terms, Asians, black people. So like, trying to make people less racist by playing video games together? Is that what that is? What do you want? A digital divide effects through student engagement. That's actually kind of a fascinating title, I wonder. I love you. Huh. Wait, what? What, sorry, what? Hold on, I was looking at the map. What'd you just say? Oh, okay. Is that part of town? Can't even think about Cyberpunk DLC. Think about it, though. If... Again, I, I have very little reason to believe this is not the case, but... City Project goes pretty buck wild when it comes to DLC. Yeah, love you too. Look at all these icons. Oh, there's so many icons and not many of them are grayed out. One of my proudest gaming moments was reading all the sword requirements without even knowing what was going on. I truly am a knightly person. I think that's the idea. It's also kind of cool that there's a quest that does sort of... Run, run. Like, it rewards, quote-unquote, doing the right or moral thing, but in a very sort of... It's like, it's it's so much more baked into the world and the, and the story than a meter... That, like, when the meter tops out, then you get, like, gold or whatever. Or an NPC's like, oh, you're a good person, great. Hey, what's up, Chinoa? Good morning in the UK. Ah, uh, just made me think of British breakfast, and now I'm hungry. That's to be expected, though. Today's a diet readjustment day. I think I have enough, I think I have enough room for some yogurt. That's a pretty good way to end the evening. You have proven the five chivalric virtues dwell in your heart. 
Mean the sword's mine? I can dive in and take it? The sword deserves the hand of a master. You must prove your skills are worthy. I gotta beat some shit up. Combat atop the water's surface. Are you ready? Anytime. Then draw your blade. I gotta fight him. In his, in his whoa, water combat dome. All right, he's an aqua mage. Luckily, this poison is crazy OP. I think it's like the most upgraded oil that I have. It's hanged man. You have proven worthy of wielding the blade. Beyond all. Yeah, more mustard. I'm not even questioning it. Behold. Cool. We've met before. Certainly. The hermit admitted he knew you, remember? The Lady of the Lake. It is I. Forget not that you are a man right and honorable, devoted to doing good. And for these reasons you receive the blade. Now bear it. And I trust this time you shall not lose it. I guess these are lore references that are over my head. Oh, is he even spinning? Something about a, a spinning, vertically oriented sword that just looks a crazy video game. Oh, okay. Should have seen that one coming, I guess. Yeah, climb up, girl. There we go. Well, this is a fun little place. A little home here. Oh, Lady of the Lake was Witcher 1. Okay. I remember I remember something like that. But I think I got that from like skimming a skimming a uh, Wikipedia entry. Alright. Each blow generates charges which increase sword damage by 10%. Charges are lost over time or when receiving damage. A fully charged sword always deals critical damage. Holy crap. Killing a foe with a fully loaded sword will expend its charge to permanently increase the weapon's damage. Damage is increased by zero to a maximum of 30, increasing along with your character level. Wow. That's intense. Yeah. Thank you for recommending me to get that early. This will be your only silver sword, silver sword for the rest of the game now. Cool. Oh, she gives you the sword Witcher 1. Makes total sense. Okay. Yeah, I never, I didn't finish Witcher 1. I, I got, like, I, you start off in Kaer Morin, I think. So I remember that. And then I remember running around this the, like big circular area with a big lake in the middle, and just doing a ton of quests and just kind of being, kind of being vaguely uncomfortable with the game's FOV. So I remember the thing that really struck me is it just was kind of a, just not a. Pl this sounds this sounds superficial and it is, but it just wasn't that pleasant of a game to look at. I don't know what it was. Something beyond the, the like creative abilities of the game itself. Uh, what was the name of that sword called? Or what was that silver sword called? Erendite. Should upgrade it with a rune guy from Hearts of Stone. Oh, uh, I didn't, I didn't pay? Oh, I upgraded that guy a couple times. Hmm. You get to do horny things with her if you play nice. <gasps> like hold hands? Witcher 1 seems like a vaguely uncomfortable game. It kind of is, yeah. It's, it's really interesting to play Witcher 1 because it's like... It's pretty clearly... There's a lot of tiny things that add up to make that game, like... It is it is someone's first attempt to make a game like that, and I think there's some... Discomfort in general around that game. Uh, just in, in most of its implementations of stuff. Because it is... Like, it, it shoots so much higher than a first attempt should. So there's almost an imbalance between the amount and quality of the content 
and then the way it's it's like presented to you visually and 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 all that stuff. It's it's a really interesting and bizarrely lopsided game. Witcher one. How you like that? Set? Witcher two was definitely like it it kind of clicked more. The uh, the production values, the scope of the content, and then the uh, the uh, I guess the just general game developing expertise had really leapfrogged her. Leapfrogged. I guess I've been talking a bit. Come on, Rush, we can do it. No, we can do it. We can. Uh, we can't do it. Okay. I'm talking about choices in games earlier, and Witcher One actually does immensely, imp an immensely impressive job at making choices have direct impact on how the story is presented. I strongly recommend going through it at some point, even with the old timey jank it has. Huh. Yeah, I guess yeah, I could try. I don't know. There's so many other games. <laughs> There's so many other games. Maybe if, uh, I mean, once Cyber like I once Cyberpunk comes out, I'm not playing Witcher One. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Uh, I don't. I mean, maybe, maybe like ten years on. Lots of more boobies. Yeah, you got the boobies. You got them traded cards. I remember. I remember. I did enjoy that part of it, even if it is kind of like. Uh. Proudly chauvinistic in the way that only things in the like mid two thousands were allowed to Red be. Door. One that Boot Black mentioned. Dang it! Hold on, I'm not sure that I want to do this quest right now. Let me switch up to uh, something else. Oh yeah, I completely walked away from this one. Oh yeah, that's right. They do have an enhanced version of Witcher One. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. It's on the deck for the next Cyberpunk hype games. It depends. It depends which, when slash if I can finish Witcher three in time. I'm sure that I can. Um, or or am I? Maybe I'm massively underestimating how uh, how beefy this content is. But tomorrow I'm gonna crack my knuckles and basically play Witcher three all day. I can put in like solid eight hour days on Witcher three until Cyberpunk comes out. So or maybe even like twelve hour. God, this game's so good. Gotta beef up that Erendite by fighting jobbers. That's what I'm gonna... Like... It's not that... Erendite wasn't that under my current attack power, so I think I'll still be able to kill stuff. It's not that enhanced. It's still kind of bad, to be honest. Oh, the game itself? Okay. Yeah, it would take a... I would think it would take a pretty fundamental remake to address some of Witcher 1's more, I guess, fundamental... Plunkiness. Not so fast, Roach. If you want to 100% or close to DLC, I think tens will be needed to defeat it before 2077. Tens of days. Take it easy. Mostly, I guess what I'd be I'd be comfortable with is kind of finishing all of the marked quests in the log. Or I guess to some degree all the ones that I can find. There's probably more that I haven't even seen. Goddamn. Yeah, you can't axe them. Ten hour streams? Hell yeah. We're in it now, guys. Witcher Mania has officially begun. I'm gonna get so good at Witcher by the end of this. Just about five hours left? Yes. That is a totally a totally digestible amount of time. Fuck. I was hoping there would be a way to hurt it during that. Shit. God damn! There's gotta be a way to stun them or something, right? absolutely not working yeah that's another oh that's that's a, a decent point uh, that wasn't exactly made but I'll make it for somebody 
I am also playing on slow mode to a degree by like making combat take longer, playing on harder difficulties. Come on. All right, so that doesn't work. I don't know, I guess I just gotta stab him to death. God. Oh. <laughs> that's good damage when I can get in on one, but man, that's, ain't that the trick. Oi. Damn it. all your bits. That's what we're doing it for. We're doing it for the monster bits. Oof. Oh, letter to Gregory Pickside? Dear sir, I trust this letter finds you in good health. As per our earlier correspondence, I would like to commission from you a geological survey to use in determining in which location we shall find the most fitting soil for expanding our vineyard's acreage. I suspect my messenger has already given you your retainer. As a final matter, I'd like to warn you against putting too much faith in the rumors which various beggars and vagrants have been spreading through our community in the last weeks. We in this area do not have any problems with giant centipedes or monsters of any sort, and you may begin your work at once with no need to fear. I wish you success and eagerly await the results of your survey. Count Vladimir Crespi. No giant centipedes at all! I don't know what idiot said that. You can put a Yurden trap on the spot they emerge. It works quite quite well. See, I thought I did that. But uh, it popped up in a little trap and didn't do anything. But uh, I will I will try it again. Because it's possible, nay, likely, that I didn't do it properly. What kind of monster would have a two-hour chem final at 8 a.m.? Ugh. Cool guy, Nick. I remember one of my, uh, one of my labs, like, it was required for the class, and there was only one lab, and it was, like, 6 a.m., so, and it was, like, three hours long. That's it, bro. Yeah. So, for an entire semester, yeah, I had one day a week where I had to get my ass out of bed. Okay. It's made its ladder. It swallowed fill and hole. And just, like, drive bleary-eyed to my college and... Uh, it was tough, too, because, like, everyone was short on sleep, but it was, like, a collaborative lab where we had to... I think it was for... Chemistry. Man, I'm blanking a little bit. But, yeah, everybody was, like, kind of short on tempers in that, and if, like, people would mismeasure stuff or get into weird arguments about how to count something, because that's sh that shit happens. It was just kind of weird. I remember just everybody was kind of... <laughs> everybody was kind of on their short temper already. Uh, but it, it, we got through it. Got through it. I think that was kind of the... Everyone sort of showed up to that class with, yeah, no one, nobody wants to be here right now. Who knows why this is so so freaking early. Uh, quick break. I'm going to get up, use the restroom. Oh, shit. It's 11.30. Well, holy moly. Uh, actually, never mind. It's super late. I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, but tomorrow, full day of Witcher 3. Just cruising around the countryside, hanging out with Big Boy Geralt. Actually, I'm gonna take uh, tomorrow morning. I'm gonna take a perusal. I'm gonna I'm gonna flip through the mods on Nexus and see if there's any new stuff. See if there's any new hot looks for Geralt. I don't know that I'll be ditching the uh, the dad bot. I love the inclusivity, the body positivity of it all. But uh, maybe there's more uh, hairstyles or, or makeup styles or something like that. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. Unless, well, 
If cyber secrets are abound, I may do some Witcher stuff where I'm not on micro camera. That's a way to sort of get around it. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I gargled, gargled into the mic a little bit there. Yeah, cyberpunk mod. Yeah, I'm a scrap mic. Sorry, I'm shutting it down. But I'll be back shortly. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, shoot, around like noon, 2 o'clock Pacific. It's usually when the morning's work is wrapped up and I can get to grinding on sick video games. So I'll be back at it tomorrow. Another... It'll be a long day of Witcher. We're all going to get very close with Geralt, but see you guys later, and hopefully you have a great, great, great week. Start of the week, is it? Yeah, I had to double check the day in my head. But yes, yeah, start of another week. Nothing but possibilities. We certainly won't be cowering inside and waiting for the world to improve, as usual. All right, see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye, everybody.